Mike Boom back and should be good. There we go. <laughs> this is my stripper pole. Oh my god, stop giggling. All of this shit. Really need to find my goddamn black suit pants again. It sucks so bad. <laughs> Now I'll wait for him to wake up. Or get back, whatever it is. I mean, technically, I know they're up the road running around, but said hi before I jumped. <clears throat> but in character, I'm basically being for. Not sure what's going to happen today. Could be something, could be nothing. <laughs> could be that I'm going to giggle like a psycho the entire day. Probably not, though. But maybe. Suit and pants, and I lost the goddamn pants. Or both of them, actually. Had them both. <laughs> I lost them. Party spawning. Hopefully, I can go to some more. I was going to loot this morning, but I ended up going over to my parents' house, helping them with a bunch of stuff. Lord Vision. Sending. Okay. or something. Of course, the uh, porno mags in the back window. Well, one's a porno mag and the other one's a car mag and then something else looks like another car magazine. And the book for it. And the book. Some are 
something. Ah, it stopped me. I didn't drink that much. Why is that was alcohol? Kind of wish the giggling effect would. A little bit overdone. deck wasn't sure. Alright, shouldn't be idle here too long. I will get and figure out what the hell to do. Thinking about going and making a couple of FOBs somewhere. Find more nails. So nails have been a bitch. But we will see. The man. Oh, I want to wear my clothes. <laughs> oh my God! Stop laughing. Like oh, that Kuru giggle. Server, I have barely even fired a gun. <laughs> and in the tree. See what happened today, not what's going on. Playing with a buddy earlier, I was going to get on and play more, but uh, got to see what's happening. That barn kind of sucks for the cars. That ramp going up is kind of a bitch. My javelin barely gets up that. <laughs> I got to back up into it. Then I got to hit it pretty decently hard.
rucksack freaking delete. I lost all my clothes. Didn't realize that. I thought maybe something. I had a lot more clothes. Fortunately. Well, it's good to know now. Much I can do about it. Had problems with that on the other server. The guy coded all that shit out. It was kind of nice because uh, on the other one, you can move stuff in and out of the bags without taking them off the rack. Of course, he had to fix all that shit, but it's extremely good coder. Made so much stuff. He has all the uh, widths of this vest stuff. It goes like uh, it's probably like ten across, and then it'll go like four deep or whatever. Yeah. What up? Oh, what's up, dude? Um, you missed like everything. I'll sleep, bitch. Oh, yeah, it. I didn't get any of it. Um, like after you went, you left yesterday. Like some shots started ringing out around uh, Bruce's. Okay. And we're like, well, okay, that's pretty close. That's pretty normal nowadays. But then they got like really close to like almost like to your old place. Okay. It sounded like they were that close. So. Bruce called Mr. Tinsley. Mr. Tinsley them dropped mortar fire on the FOB because they said they seen people there, I guess. So we're scouring through the radios and we hear them say on the radio that they're going to go. They think that there's locals around here that's been calling the local patrol and uh, setting up the mortars on them. So they went scour. I guess they said they were going to scour the penin the local like the peninsulas on the. the Eastern Front while we were still at Bruce's. So, fucking Bruce and them were fucking panicking, so I made them all fucking come over here. And, uh, we literally, like, they said, like, I was listening to them on the radio, they had a sniper fucking, like, shooting Humvees and shit over there and everything. And, uh, well, they said that they didn't feel safe, so we all fucking, like, bailed out to go to Kip's. But literally, like, as we, as we were heading there, like, we were on the beach just on the other side of your place there, and we saw at least two or three people on the other beach over there, like, walking down. I found a small With pot. flashlights. Well, it's better than nothing. But, uh, then I got back on the radio just to hear if I seen, heard anything else, and they said that they found, like, you know the abandoned church by Bruce's. Right. They found it and three houses after that, but it was Charlie team was the one looking down there. That's all the further they went was them three houses. So right now our plan is probably to keep vehicles to a minimum for a little bit. And Bruce and them have bugged out the Kips, the last place I know they're at. So I don't know if we like want to bail out of here, bail out of here for a couple of days. Yeah, my, whatever. I bet you just got all I mean, my stuff. I'm thinking over that here. might be our best bet. <laughs> exactly. I mean, 
It's been fucking hectic, dude. Yeah, I got up this morning and I didn't see any tracks or anything out by my old place, but I stripped her down pretty good and the car for a little crew. As you can see, I put sandbags yeah. up on top of that gas tank right there. People couldn't Yeah, I noticed those. <laughs> Another bit. We needed more, right? Oh, geez. No. <laughs> oh, man. It was just a fucking hectic day. We got a shit ton of information last night and everything. Alright, well, I'm gonna start heading over to Kips. Run up that or um, drive? Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not riding the car for a while. Bad idea right now. I'm thinking that's what guts the. I think that's why they're over here so much. There's so many vehicle traffic up and down this road. Oh, probably. Well, my car is super quiet. I mean, it just, you know, like ninja. Yeah, I mean, it's nice and everything, but I think right now probably our best bet is to stick with foot. I was totally joking, by the way. They could probably hear me in fucking Stonington when I started up and ride it up this hill. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, what was it? Was it this tree or was it that tree up there? <laughs> what? What about a tree? I was uh, cruising along, passed out at the wheel a little bit. I think I was a little over exhausted. Woke up. He's oh, he's got a full spready going on, crab style on the ground, whining like a bitch. I don't know. I was behind the wheel. I was fine. I think he's he just fine, but he was the, he was the one he was the one unconscious. Hmm. Well, at least the car's not total like mine was. Oh yeah, she's in pristine shape, uh, man. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty beastly. I uh, really like that Nissan, but uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I like that Lancer, I'll tell you too. one thing. You know how hard that, it is to find, uh, you know, well, you know how hard it is to find there. Kip's place whenever it's pitch black out and you got four people trying to follow you? <laughs> what are we thinking? Are we going to set up, like, an FOB somewhere else? I was I'm thinking we'd try to somewhere set somewhere north. Up north, but... If we were going to do that, Jesus uh, Christ, we dude, that's at least some fucking flies. military's all over that shit. Why wouldn't we go west? I haven't seen you up north. Portland seems like it's. Oh, been you're talking months. way fuck. Well, yeah, but then we got to fucking go back and forth through your goddamn gate. Uh, I mean, we could maybe talk to Tinsley and gather supplies and have a bridge built at some point. There's plenty yeah, of places in the discussion bridges. also. <laughs> There's been a lot of shit going on. There was a lot I mean, of I'm up for whatever. No, you know, but Portland's so fucking thick with goddamn undead. Well, I mean, that means the military ain't clearing them out, though. No. And at I'd this say, moment, you know, we I'd rather there. deal with them than them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty much for whatever. Or even Mountainville, because that, you know, there's actually others who live there. But the military might, you know, patrol there, too. Yeah, that's the problem. But Portland is overrun, and that's a good sign for us. Very true, I'm very sprint. true. And really, I mean, it's not something we got to get a big thing built and have a whole lot of stuff, either. No, we just have to basically have a housing and, food and, and something for a car, you know, to lock the shit up, and that's it. Yeah. Honestly, apartments would probably be a good bet, like, you know, like, have groups in, like, apartments. Like, say, you know, us three would have, like, one apartment, and then, like, down a floor or two, like, Bruce and Charles or whatever. Who else was with us uh, when uh... we talked about everything? Was the hunter kid the there or no? Hunter showed up, yeah. Okay. And then last whenever year, you I left, don't know. Uh, whenever you left, JD showed up. I don't know who that is. Another Aussie, I think. Mm, okay. But he said he already lived north, so. 
All right. Uh, uh, we found oh, a little no. stash with a uh, a few things in it in a house. Oh, did you? They have a black uh, plate carrier. I wanted to grab it, but I'm you know. I have a black a plate carrier. You can have it. I mean, do you not want it? Oh, I don't use it. It's too heavy. Okay. It's got uh, even got black I pouches. Hey, I on finally, it. we finally found me a vest. Yeah, just keep an open look there, guys. I kind of lost some of my uh, stuff there in that four-door locker. I put some things in the rucksack, and I don't know if the pocket ripped, but it's all gone. So uh, going to need the okay. entire black suit, you know, top and bottom. Okay. Can't hang shit in there. Yes, it's fine. Um, I think it was you follow I these tracks, you'll go to Kip's. Really? Well, I found tracks last night and I made my way to Kips. You just gotta follow the tracks west. I was just gonna go up to the road and go that way. Alright, we can go that but, way. It's a well, we did, we we did cross the tracks when we were on the north side of Kips. Yeah. That's we the only way we was able to find it because Charles like, was like, well, you gotta go west from the tracks. Like, okay, well, which way's west? Good thing Bruce had a fucking map and a compass, because I gave my compass to that Lasky guy, because he said he was getting lost. West? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, I hate being in the open. Going to the road. Yeah, I had to break up from Bruce and them because I pretty much told him that I was I had to come back for you guys. Oh well. Yeah. Like I'm not I'm not leaving my two boys back here. But where are they at? Last known was it Kip's? Oh, I don't okay. know if they went anywhere. Kip was there whenever I left. I don't know if they went off with him or did anything like that, but I told him I was gonna rest up for a little bit and then head back for you guys. Hell yeah. Cause they they had us fucking running. Well, it doesn't look like they found uh, our place or Bruce's place, so... Oh, uh, yeah, my shit was untouched. I mean, no notes, no yeah. damage to anything. Didn't look like anybody messed with my lots. Yeah, I know it looked a... like everybody left in a hurry from Bruce's, because I was asleep. Um, and I woke up and, like, doors were open and everything. It was definitely a hurry. I gotta find a fucking radio. Well, I had an extra one uh, on top of the one I gave away, but I, it might have been in that rucksack and fell out. That's all right. I'll I'll find one. Maybe I can ask uh, Tinsley if he has some spares I can buy off of him if I see him soon. sat radios are nice. Except when, you know, somebody's five feet away from you behind one fucking door talking and you hear the echo. <laughs> that dirt road to follow it, so... Yeah. God, my asshole was puffed. I'm gonna go up and over the mountain here. That way I can see if there's anybody down here that I don't want to be around. A.K.A., you know, CDC, military... Eric. Yeah, yeah, I'm making pretty good ones to yeah, not be around. Eric, Eric as well. That's a good point. 
Stop fucking shooting people! <laughs> Yeah, like that bridge down there, yeah, I think we could maybe try to build one similar to that one. Yeah, just no. wood. I'm not much of an engineer, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, no. My popsicle stick bridge in high school broke. Badly. Dang him. Did you tell him it was multiple function? It could be a bridge or a dam? Yeah. Probably still got a nap, didn't you? <laughs> oh no, I passed. Teacher was high. Oh, blowing the teachers. Damn oh. right. I thought you were going to say, yeah, he was. <laughs> he said hot. And I, I don't know. It's all good. Good bird's eye view from up here. Yeah. Little CDC truck. He's a brave the soul to be running. Fucking whips over the hill at us, rolls down. Oh, fuck. God damn! Oh, I was just joking. Oh, he said, uh, he said it'd be a real sh uh, sight if I could see, like, a CDC truck coming down the hill at us. Just, like, through the trees. Fucking from the top or here. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. How you doing? I woke up this morning. The car was still there, so it was fucking... It was a wind day. <laughs> I, got, I freaking got up. I'm like, oh, please be in there. Please be in there. I was like, oh, thank you. Finally, a car that lasted more than a day. I wish I'd have been able to stay up for the RP, though. Oh, my God. But I only sleep like four hours a night. And uh, when I get tired, I crash. My body just gives out. And it's like, you're done. Is he up the hill? <laughs> I don't know. Wild Ross and the fucking wind here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to say hell with it and go in. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. My wife, That's uh, she partakes a lot herself. But it's mainly for her. Issues, you know, uh, pain and stuff like that. Nothing drastic, just uh, like five year old. I understand. My glankles. That's maybe one of our people. Yeah, well, same here. I mean, I'm 42. So I'm starting to feel it. But, uh, yeah, I just, I've always had the sleep problem. I can only sleep about four, possibly five hours in the night, and then I'm wide awake and I can't sleep again. But when I get tired, it's, that's all she wrote. Yeah, that seems fun. Uh, fun. So 
Oh, when he says checking perimeter, am I supposed to do this? <laughs> there, checked. How did Ross go? Somebody going up the hill, so I'm guessing he's up the hill. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We just got a new one ourselves. I've uh, usually had like the memory foam ones, but it was always the cheap version. Well, and, uh, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? But uh, we finally got a really nice right. one. How about you folks? You're good, man. You're good. No. Never better. Yeah, I'm on my way to the airfield. Uh, I have my radio on. Guess I had on one of the military channels. Apparently, they're going to have a interview or a meet or something. I don't know. Up at the airfield with somebody. Huh. Some reporter guy. Oh. Yeah, so... Or if it's the guy that's always at Ava's. I don't know. Could be. Could be Elliot. I'm oh, not quite. Uh, Jesus Christ. Can't even talk. Either way. Well, yeah, a bed's I was headed a up must. to the airfield and I was like, well, Explosion I know this is kind of on the way, so we will have a look. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of got chased out of Bruce's last night. Oh, I didn't guess past really? though. Well, we was at, we was down at Bruce's and like we started hearing gunshots like all the way around the place, like they were up at the FOB up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, Bruce kind of panicked and he called Tinsley and Tinsley and then started mortaring them. But then we started That's what like, he does. scanning the radio, and the military said they was gonna come down and check all the eastern peninsulas and stuff because he thinks people are radioing into local patrol. Oh, shoot. So, I don't know if we're completely compromised, but from what the intel I got after listening on to the radio was they didn't go down far enough to actually see Bruce's. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The risk of that's for sure. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful now. Yeah. Well, we moved yeah. out oh. of that peninsula. Uh, we're close. Okay. But we moved off the side so we don't have to go next to that military base every goddamn day. Hmm. Yeah, good call. Yeah, well, after, well as soon as they started um, adding more tents there, we kind of decided, eh, well, let's go check some more. Take a look. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I'm going to go try and find a spot to sit, maybe have a look through some binoculars. Oh, hell yeah. I suggest you might want to go do the same. I'm heading off now. I haven't seen Bruce at all today, so uh, maybe try and get him, him on the radio. That's where I left him at, yeah. But uh, we stopped by here last night and we were talking. To, I don't know what all that was said and stuff, but this note over here kind of strikes me a little interesting. Yeah, I checked that one on the wall there. Oh, yeah? You should be more careful about running your mouth without checking your perimeter first. So I'm guessing somebody was talking and they were close enough to hear speech. Uh, you know. Of course at a pub I don't know. most people are a little loud and yeah. You know, I mean that would be my guess if somebody heard something, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know which for Ross is down here. How'd he go? I don't know. Yeah, well, I wouldn't think too much of this note. I mean, if they really had a fucking problem, they would come and fucking told you. 
be honest, I'm gonna fucking take this with me, cause this is just... I didn't fucking know, it's just pointless. Yeah, it could yeah, be anything. It could be just somebody playing a joke on Kip or something, you never know anymore. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Here, found this extra radio. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody right behind us was just talking about getting one. Yeah, well there you go. I had a spare one back in my house. Thanks, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna go try and find a spot. Okay. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll just be careful when you head up there if you do decide to go over, because there's quite a few infected on the airfield, but, uh, right. there's a couple tree lines that you could probably sit in. Do yeah, quite I, well. I, the only time I saw that place, I was in the typhoon, so I didn't really get a good look of uh, where I could <laughs> get viewpoints, to be honest. There's a big ass fucking tower there. Um, like, I wouldn't say a radio tower, but it's like a tower, right? I'm sure you could probably get up on there and they wouldn't really notice you. That it's kind of, uh. Any king looking thing? No, 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 no. Not that one. There's another one. It's like a wire frame. It's out kind of on the airfield. But if you get on top of that, you got a view of the whole area. The best oh. part is, it's because it's in the woods, you know. For the most part, even if they saw you up there, you just run down and then you're in the woods and you're scot free. Okay, well, that would be where I would be going, but uh, I think I'm going to choose a different tree line. Let y'all take that spot if you want it. Guys. Well, it's up to you. I'll I, be heading over there, so I'll be in the area. I don't even know what's going on right now, so I was over there on the rocks. Yep. Apparently, uh, someone's gonna go meet some military people. Oh. So he's All right. kind of spy on him. Yeah. Said that, that we might want to do the same from another position. Sounds good to me. Where did this uh, radio come from? This extra? Is it an extra one? Uh, Harry, yeah, yeah that was me. One. I had one in my house. Oh. Appreciate it. Welcome. Give you a little bit more options in terms of communicating, because I know carrying around one of those big ass military radio ones is a little bit hard. Oh, oh yeah. god, yeah. All right. All right, and then, well, uh, whatever I'm frequency. Well, see if what I can frequency get was Bruce, it? Uh, nine nine that seven. You, uh, folks, you nine nine seven. I'll make yeah. sure I have it on. Um, the frequency I found the military on was 88.7 or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, I was listening to a lot of them last night. <laughs> yeah. Well, I reckon you'll be close enough to use one of the smaller radios when you're at the airfield if they'd have it on. And then, uh, yeah. use the big one for a 99. Be on that one if you need some help. Okay. Yep, yep. Alright. Well, I'm gonna head off now. Uh, if you guys Stick know where the airfield safe. is, it's quite literally, uh... Go down that yes. road, follow it, and then there should be a right. Follow the right all the way there, pretty much. You'll uh, start seeing the military base from there, pretty much. Just a hop, skip, and jump. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, I'll be in the area. Let me know if you need help. Yep, yep. Yes, sir, thanks. Only one real rule with uh, turn radios on. We gotta make sure we're fucking quiet. Yep. But I'm actually right, gonna turn so. it on. Maybe see if I can get a hold of Bruce real quick. I'm gonna try it. Our channel, and then I might turn over to the other one, just to see if I, I hear mean, anything. Wasn't Bruce here? He should be awake here, right? I don't know. Okay, before you turn All those right. on. Okay. Who the fuck is meeting whoever, where, what? Um, somebody from the compound, I think, is what he said. Somebody, uh, right, right. a reporter, I guess, is supposed to meet them. Elliot, that's Elliot. Well, that's, I'm not sure, neither was he, it's just that's yeah. what information he has, probably. Well, uh, he told us he was a reporter, so. Right, of course. Alright, well. Right before he shot a gun. Yeah, 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 that's right. Alright, let's see if I can get a hold of Bruce. Okay.
Bruce in there. Bruce, are you on the radio? Hopefully, we'll be able to listen in on them. We got their freak. Find a good spot. That'd be kind of nice. Some good RP upcoming, it looks like. So what did he say about this road? Just something went down this way and took that right, which I think is on right now. It's yeah. Much right up here, we'll be able to... We're looking for one of the wire towers in the woods because we'd be able to get on top of that and see good distance. Okay. He's gonna. So if we sit continue this else. way, we're gonna be at the airfield. So. But yeah, right there's the big tower right ahead of us. The, the other one, the one like mm -hmm. a candy cane. Yeah. I think it's on the opposite side, the one he's talking about. Maybe. Well, if he said to follow the road, I want to keep the road in sight and just kind of, you know, follow along with it. Yeah, I think we'll have to go to the right side of this. Uh, we should be on the other side of the road, I think. All right. But just be careful. Over this way. Anything oh, yeah. Bruce? Yeah, all three of us got one. No. Radio got pretty wet, so I'm gonna let it dry out. Wire tower? What the fuck's a wire tower? A uh, metal tower. It's not the candy cane looking yeah. one. He just said it's like a metal frame tower. Yeah. Let's go uh, sit on the metal yeah, okay. tower in the thunderstorm and the lightning storms. Yeah, let's go do that. Hey, hey, just because I'm going to have my pants down and my junk against the post does not fucking mean it's enough. Never mind. He's just said this road will take us straight to it. Something about that, yeah. You know. I think that's what he said. Oh, okay, yeah. This road's gonna go around. Yeah, um, and then it'll lead to the north south. 
I've uh, been around here a little bit. Um, I kind of stay away from it with the fucking military, and me being here once was enough. Yeah, I'm gonna cut across. Yeah, the road's cutting. Well, this way. is the other road. Hmm, okay. That's three. So we'll connect back to that one follow -up. Okay, there's the, the dish. Yeah, it should be straight ahead of where I'm looking right now. I think in the wood pine up there. That's why I'm is it uh, by a house? It's in the woods, I'm not sure. Like I said, uh, it sucks to drain like a bitch right now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's on the west side of this base. It's going to be pretty busy here for a while, so we wanted to maybe try to go, you know, have a place set up over here on the western coast. Maybe sometime soon is the best time to do it. Of course, we'll have to run back and grab supplies. Yeah. Up in this area. Okay, um Oh, there it is. Straight ahead of me. You can see it through the, the wood line right there. Yeah, where'd he go? Is that the one? Yeah, there's a wire mesh tower on the opposite side over there. You just gotta get around. Alright. Well, this rain's actually uh, making it harder yeah, to right see. Yeah, right now I'd be... A good time to just run the fuck over there because it's foggy. Right, right. Let's go. Let's uh, cross the road real quick. Actually, no, it's not on. It's on this half yeah, of yeah. the road. Let's, let's stay in the tree line here. 
Yeah. Yeah, hopefully there's a way in that goddamn fence over there. What if they just look up here and see us? Then we get fucked down and we're in the woods and gone. Fair enough. Harry had a good idea. Just gotta be careful. Don't move around too much when we're up here. It's perfect right now to get up here. <laughs> yeah. That actually makes me busy. <laughs> oh, it's over on that side. Is it just me or do you think this fucking tower's sketchy as shit? Oh, yeah, it's sketchy. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sketchy. Why, is, why are there openings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, got a radio on you and want to turn up that that she was talking about, like, 8, 7, or whatever the fuck that was? Yeah, it's pretty much fucking soaked at the moment. Shit. Wait, wait, if you look through the smoke, like, right dead ahead of us, you see where the tele like, the pole with the light on? Something's smoking. Yeah, it's a typhoon. Yeah, that's okay. the one that got blown up when I was captured up here. God, this fucking drop-off right in front of me is making my butt fucking pucker. Oh, yeah. That's why I chose over here where I got, you know, a little, little bit of sheet metal too. Hey, you know, I just got my feet dangling out of this one. It's all good. Well, you're talking to a guy that's definitely afraid of heights. I'm not really scared of the heights. I'm scared of the sudden yeah, stop at the bottom of the height. I think my radio's dry. I'll try it. All right, I'm gonna be quiet now. Yeah. Uh, what was the frequency? Uh, was it 87.80, sir. Eat something. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll just try it. Oh, the first one. The very first one. Oh, <laughs> true.
Yeah, the only problem is that. You have to understand, you have to understand that the actions taken on part of the United States government, the United States Department of Defense, the United States Department of Homeland Security, the Center for Disease Control, the Central Intelligence Agency, they are all to support public health and safety back on the mainland. Exactly, are we trying to accomplish? I would not call them experiments. I would call them research. The United States government, the United States Department of Defense, and the Center for Disease Control take possession of lab and field research on a very dangerous infection and virus. The only way that the United States government has deemed it safe is to quarantine a certain set of islands on the eastern seaboard in the protection of the larger group of population of the United States of America. Okay, so instead of evacuating people out of here and allowing the dead to roam around, you sit, watch, and wait into people turn, watch what happens to them, research it's not, just it. it's not just about that, you have, you have to understand, young man. It's a case of all of the members of the population of this entire island are subject to infection. It's on part of the United States government and the United States Department of Defense and the Center for Disease Control to ensure that those that are potentially infected do not return to the mainland without in-depth screening. So, to answer your question, the most important thing for the United States government, the United States Department of Defense, and the Center for Disease Control is to ensure the public safety of the large population. That cannot be done in mind of survivors like yourself right around here. Because we do not understand transmission rates. We do not yet understand the length of gestation of this virus. So we do not, our concern here is not the protection of you, the individual here on this island. The concern is the protection of the greater population in the United States of America. talking much okay so how does the general populace of this isle help you with this operation mission that's going on here I know some of the CDC do or well I, I can't remember if it was the CDC or you guys exactly um, you were taking blood actually I, I do think it was uh, some military folk in those big trucks actually. They were taking some of our blood. How do we help along with that? You want more blood samples? You want people to on a weekly, monthly basis donate blood or what, what do you exactly want from 
the general population because I, I can mediate that you know I can I can talk to these people and help you along with getting this shit resolved getting us all out of here and getting back to normality The Afghanistan is a division of the Center of Disease Control to understand, one, the cause of this outbreak. Second, the transformation of the chromosomal makeup of this virus. And third, the eradication of this virus. So the general population of quarantine areas. The, The concern is not of your salvation, but your, it is the concern of the United States government, the United States Department of Defense, and the Center of Disease Control to eradicate this infection. Now, the way that you can help that, Mr. Reporter, is to spread the word understanding I that see on people. yours is the purpose for a greater good. That in this time, in this position of history, that those who have made great sacrifice for the general population of the world, that is your cause to be the sacrifice of the greater, to the greater good of the world in defeating this out, this outbreak. So what? You want us to all be martyrs? <laughs> it's not that. It is not a position of the United States government nor the United States Department of Defense or the Center for Disease Control, that we dictate what this outcome looks for the populations on the quarantine islands. Hey, what? It is a position that fate and how life has played out that we find ourselves in this predicament. The way the outbreak happened and the actions taken by the United States government have afforded us the opportunity to safely monitor and take action against this disease. We do not control who was here. We do not control who was on this island when the outbreak came. That is the matter of circumstance. Wow. <laughs> Why is this? Your fucking robot? Reading off a fucking script? Like... You sound like a bunch of fucking animals. These are people out here. And I get it, yeah, for the greater good. Wow, okay. This is the same shit over and over again. Fucking wait. People are just trying to live out here. Trying to get back to their families. People the came out here just for a fucking holiday. Of the United States government, the United States Department of Defense, and the Center for Disease Control. And we take all lives and the matter of life seriously. Okay, then help these people out here. Instead of sit back and watch what happens. Because all I've heard is that you don't help anyone. You take what you want. At any time, just snap of a finger. Now, sir, now, sir, it is the position of the United States government, the United States Department of Defense, and the Center of Disease Control that we do not. Well, you want to ensure all our lives, but you also don't want to help us within our lives. We do not see this as not helping a certain small section, small percentage of the American population. We are helping and we are leading the charge to not only help the United States of America, but the, not the entire global population. So in that fact, when you look at the data, Mr. Reporter, and you need to understand this as an investigative journalist, that the small sample size of the population here on these quarantine islands 
pales in comparison to the greater effect and the greater good that can be done here. I... Let's move on to another topic if you have any more questions. Okay, uh, so if someone is deemed not infected with this virus, can they then get off this island? Unfortunately, it's not, it's not as easy as that. The Center for Disease Control has discovered that there are anomalies. There are anomalies between the chromosomal transformation and the makeup of this this infection. So, so we have noticed that certain people carrying antibodies might hold off from infection for a longer period of time, but they do have in turn become infected. So the longer the exposure to the infection, the higher the probability of the transformation of this virus, and thus contracting this disease. Hmm. So what sort of subjects are you trying to look for in this realm of like like some antibodies could be possibly helped along to find a, a cure or like, what exactly are you trying to look for? Unfortunately, that information resides within the Center for Disease Control and the sealed documents under this joint U.S. Department of Defense operation. My God. I'm just trying to get an understanding of how us as a collection of people could get this fucking over and done with. Oh yeah, we're not all scientists. Hmm. Warming up my hands. Yeah, we're not all scientists. Yeah, we're not all scientists. Fine. I love it. The little touches like that, just, I love it. So, I'm guessing you guys don't address each other by rank? I'm just like, what happened? I called him a PFC, which is proper first class. So, yeah, I'm about to mean, general, his response. Know what that means. No, I'm, I'm just, you know, his response. Fine. Mr. Reporter, did you, you know, come here to ask questions about what was going on in the U.S. government's Response to this outbreak or you want to say here and judge the actions of a, a young stressed out soldier and his response to a simple PA out. Are you not concerned with that or do you have more important questions or should we just conclude this interview at this time? No, that's absolutely fine. Um I'm just trying to at least get some answers on like I was saying again um, how we can help how we can like you at the end of the day people are scared out here they're absolutely fucking terrified and I'm just trying to ease that at any second they, they roam down the street yeah, they're carrying a firearm yeah, they, uh, because they're defending scope. themselves, and Something you guys just really scoop them up and take them and the process them and when they could just easily just go. Oh, we just need a few people to you know uh, this certain time and day, and people would understand and come and do whatever you please. 
not everyone would do it, but... Okay, well, let me, let me stop you right there, young man. It is not the position of the United States government, nor the United States Department of Defense, to take any, any position on any individual interaction between a member of the United States government or the United States Department of Defense with any of the population on these quarantine islands. You need to understand that young soldiers, sailors, and Marines are out here they are fear of their life and the affection that you and the risk that you pose to them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you writing some sort of op-ed piece or is this a factual conversation that you're wishing to have? Because it seems like everything you're bringing up is entirely objective. The United States government, the United States Department of Defense, has a tendency to take the side of topics that have a tendency to be entirely subjective and based on fact and data. Now, we're happy to continue this conversation discussing facts and data and the things that we have discovered and the ways that we are continuing to improve the lives of the greater population of the United States of America. Or if we want to continue in the conjecture about what is happening on this island or the other quarantine islands, I'm going to have to tell you that this, this interview will be over. Right? Well, I, I I came here to get an understanding of what your guys' mission is. Yeah. In and I believe we, we have perfectly communicated the mission of the United States government, United States Department of Defense, and the Center for Disease Control. But it's not a part of a, it's not a part of a good investigation investigative journalism that I found for you to take sides of any sort of bias or any sort of story that you happen to be writing. It is the position of the United States government to use facts and data and subject, subjective information. Now it seems to me, oh. Mr. What was your name again, Elliot? It seems to me that you have a bias on this story. And as the public affairs officer for this operation, I have a tendency to wear, wear in mind that you will continue to investigate with this biased attitude, and that I cannot support. So at this time, I'm going to conclude this interview. Thank you very much, Mr. Elliott. We'll leave you here, and the PFC and I will go and take a I understand. I understand, young man, but the thing you, want, you need to understand is that it's very important for the United States Department of Defense to send a message to the greater population of America so they understand with the good work that you boys are doing out here. It's hard when they go around blowing us up. Now I can't control, can't control every single narrative, young man. Yes, sir. We leaving them here, or you come with us? We can show him and we'll find his way back. It's not our position right to worry about how he gets home. You've got everything there. Christ. Where's the hold up here, Private? There. Right there on the fucking ground. Done. All right. Let's 
go no bound. Which way northbound though? Or just straight north? Uh, straight north. I'm only authorized to come out here. Alright, we'll go this way, it'd be faster. Alright. We're the driver. Jesus, fuck. up shit boy we're pretty much lab rats so get down gtf boy left tell you that i'm all Kind of, that's kind of what I thought after we found, well, after I found those notes, uh, Bruce has them now, but it said things about live subjects, so. I just wanted to flip around. We need to. Go back to Kips, or, uh, the, he left, they left Elliot sitting there, out. Yeah. I watched him for a minute. I mean, he seems like he's in okay, I mean, they didn't kill him or nothing, so he should be but, I mean, yeah. I don't know. We need to just get the fuck out of here. We can tell people that it looks like Elliot ain't fucking happy. Because he was questioning. Surprised they didn't stop him and head and walk away. I'm surprised it just didn't take him. to see us, yeah. Now, like I said, he uh, didn't seem like he was very thrill dealer about any of this shit, so. Still don't trust him much. Well, yeah, I'm not going to walk up and say, hey, you want to come to my fucking birthday party, but Jesus Christ, at least it sounds like he's at least on the same page we are. Yeah, let's go across here. 
one guy couldn't drive for shit. It looked like he spun out a couple times while I'm coming around here because they didn't know what fucking way north is. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, I feel you on that one. I've been in too many car wrecks for this shit. Crazy bullshit, right? It's basically using us to see what happens. Yep. Well, nah, I guess it don't feel as bad as blowing them up now. <sighs> Almost wish I was the one that fucking blew them up that first. A street, a street, ah, <laughs> ah, pine needle. Shitting out pine needles for a week. Ah, uh, self-wiping, baby. All you all, the, all you suckers need toilet paper. I just, you know, crap out the fresh smell of pine. I've been stealing your tube socks. You know, you can at least use my pants so they match my shirt, asshole. <laughs> Why does he always run? Not a fucking clue. He has uh, Binox in his pocket if anybody needs them. The hell do you fit them in there? Check this spot real quick. Round that shit. A water barrel in there. It's almost another barrel. Oh yeah, yeah. We were at the uh, airfield listening in on a conversation with a reporter. Rain. Uh, in one of their generalissimos. Couple days. Basically, find found out this is yep. course OC. Can't use it in there, but uh, word will get around that we are lab rats. Uh, the military, the DoD, uh, United States, the CDC are all you know working together, of course. Uh, using us to see how this virus will affect, uh, you know, timing to see how long it takes to, you know, basically fuck us to save the greater good of the world, uh, or the, you know, United States. So they're using this island as their, you know, cultivation, see, testing. Fucking crazy shit. Love it though. That's the kind of thing you like to see in RP. You know, 
know, setups like that. That's why I love the server. The fucking amount of effort they put in, you know, to put out lore is just spectacular. I just hope they don't burn themselves out, because they are good. I love how they include everybody. I mean, I literally haven't even logged into my other fucking one I used to play on. I, I basically stopped completely playing on Kinship. Just because I'm getting so much more RP in here in like 10 minutes of being logged in than, you know, 8 hours, 10 hours of sitting there. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, he's robotic. <laughs> I didn't know if you were doing that on purpose, but holy shit, I, both start, I, I couldn't help but laugh. Oh, it's all good, man. That was fucking great. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's, that's fucking awesome. The whole time, I'm like, God damn, is that a chick talking? I was like, no, it's got to be cheap. <laughs> It's like, it's, he sounds all robotic. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, it didn't take it didn't take away from it though. It was it was great. Oh yeah, 56, 57 characters, you know, well, 55, well, no, he wasn't that one, I think that was Mako doing that one. Oh hell yeah, you know, but either way, they they all overwork themselves on Hopefully this. Hopefully you stop this bar and get out of this rain for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I got a case of swamp sack, dude, that'll just fucking, it, it just wrinkly, it, just total wrinkle. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's gone from Swamp Sack to Bayou Balls in, like, fucking three seconds. You th Who do we got on the right? Is that... Fu That's not Ross, is it? Where? Uh, just ran through that hill... Over that hill right there. Uh, he's gone. I mean, he's in the woods It there. might be. Yeah, yeah, I think he stayed in the right part of it. That's fine. Get inside. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking just freezing my ass off. Who the hell would think that a wet blanket on your head would cause you to be this cold? I mean, seriously. <laughs> what is a blanket on your head that's wet? Well, it's this goddamn poncho. They're great in the sun, you know. I can't get heat stroke, but, you know, as soon as it turns watery. Ooh, baby. Lars, what's up, my man? How's it going? Got some sweet Damn, ass RP going on over here. Hold on, yeah. I guess try to make it back to Kips. Do you know where it's at? I <laughs> uh, wasn't really paying attention because he was kind of doing his thing, but uh, yeah, it should be this way. Well, actually, we should have. We we got to turn to the left. We're we're going east. We okay. should be going north. This has got to be Milo that's just east of it. So, yeah, we got to go dead north. My radio is still drenched. I can't get a hold of him if he's on the radio. That's fine. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Haven't even been, been on Kinship. Got over on this server and... Oh, they're they're so good with uh, you know RP and keeping everybody in it. Just amazing, and I love Deer Isle. You know, I'm seeing all the new shit that I haven't been able to since the other server I was playing on. They stopped, and I've been kind of hungry and starving for Deer Isle. So, uh, what one did you join there, my man? 
probably that desolation or whatever the hell, the hell it was they're called. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is true survival RP. It's a uh, lower slotted server, but the admins are like crazy involved. Oh, derelict RP. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd heard some people went to that one. I didn't go to that one or try it because a couple of their guys came to the kinship one and basically KOS'd a bunch of people and were laughing about it. And that kind of told me, you know, uh, I'm not really interested in if they're going to do that. But I'm sure it wasn't, you know, they'd probably be pissed if they knew a couple of their guys did that. Um... I don't know. They only lasted, like, moments. Uh, they went through KOS to a few people and said the server sucked and, we, you know, we're going back to Derelict or something like that. It was on, uh, right on the main chat there uh, a couple, a week or two ago. And uh, they immediately got banned and, and removed. And I think they most of their shit got deleted. It was just some assholes trolling is all it was. No, 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 no. I'm sure it's nothing to do with admin or owners. I, it was probably just a few players that felt like Dick and the Dog went and got whitelisted and, you know, trolled the shit out of it. Because we had people that did that in TRZ, too. Got all toxic and shit, and it just pisses me off. No, I, I'll guarantee you it was nothing, because no admin or mod in the right mind would go to somewhere else. That's so much bad publicity doing shit like that. Yeah, like I said, I mean, nobody thought twice about it. Because, I mean, it's almost one of those things that it was like blatantly just fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what, you know, what this one is, is... It's a smaller slotted server. Um, the admins and the moderators are really super involved with the characters. Like, Chief plays like fucking 20 to 30 different guys, and he's all over the place. Uh, getting involved with like every survivor, you know, and uh, it's got vehicles, which is kind of nice. They're a little buggy, but it's not been too bad. Um, they actually have a better upgraded server to handle the cars, so most of them drive pretty smooth. But it's just a blast. It's harder to survive, a lot less shit. Like, I'm packing a gun right now. I had a USG-45, but that got took away as soon as I got captured by the military and arrested. But it's been phenomenal. I mean, I'm just, I'm having so much fun, I don't even touch anything else anymore. Yeah, they have, like, a lot of scenarios that'll happen, you know, with the military, the local patrol, the CDC, the car chases all over the fucking place, uh, CDC shooting at you, mortars hitting the CDC cars, you know, and then you go back and the car's exploded and broke all the hell, it's just, oh my god, you know, just really cool. Sometimes we'll find notes and uh, follow those notes to a cache of, uh, of nails and building supplies and whatnot. Anything you want, dude. Yeah, I really feel bad about having him with us now. <sighs> he just kept going, though. I, mean, I said he was going east. I mean, I figured we were going back to Kips. So I thought we said. Is your radio dry? Uh, yeah, it doesn't ever get wet, I don't think. Uh, it's one of those military ones. So mine is. Mine's like drenched. Uh, 99.7, see if he's on there. Checking 99.7, anybody there? Yep.
Okay. <laughs> yeah, we kind of lost track of you, my man. Um, we're heading north. Yeah, I, I swung too wide. Yeah, that's uh, well, we stopped because we were getting wet there, and Jay needed to dup, uh, dip a little bit. So we're heading back. We're heading north right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got him, Jay. He's heading there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure he didn't, like, turn back, too. We didn't cross the road, did we? No, I don't like that. Do what? We didn't cross that road, did we? No. Could be up here. I love the earplug mod. Oh, it's so nice. Being able to do that and actually hear conversations and shit with the rain, the wind, the cars. All right, I got yeah here. All right, we're close there, my man. So uh, I'm going to turn this radio off and we'll meet you there. Radio seemed to work pretty good on this server, too, what I've noticed. Yeah, the, the had a slotted server for, of 20, and then Chief uh, just bought 10 more to 30, because we started... People have started hitting this place, realizing how fun it is. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been fun. I don't think I got a dry spot left on me. Uh, no, I don't either. I'd say my taint was, but it's pretty much drenched now too. So that was that was the last hurrah <laughs> of my dryness. Uh, is that here? Swing, yeah. Pass these two. Right, right, right. Not used to running from the side of it. Yeah. There we are. I see a fire here. In that time. <laughs> I see a fire. Oh my god, my balls are screaming for that dryness. Baby. Oh, yeah. The guy who I was talking with uh, pretty much answered me fair enough, exactly fair like him. I mean, I was cozying my apartment until I heard that shit on the radio. <laughs> fuck, it's cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, the fuck is. Oh boys, bandits! Hey, Bruce. Fuck. That was your fucking night. Oh, just peachy. I slept like a rock. I don't know what the fuck you guys were doing. <laughs> I hate you so much, Russell. I was in that house right by your freaking place, sir. I was out, dude. Hey, um, did you boys actually see or hear anything? Uh, my spot that I was in was fucking shit. I couldn't yeah. see crap because of the fog, and then my radio battery fucking died. Yeah, we yeah, can't uh, go talk about it over here. Oh, yeah, we need to get some, like, more wood and shit for this. Back of the fucking yeah. rain. <laughs> He's uh, cutting the bark. You know that bark's gonna be wet, mate. So you know. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna... So what did you <clears throat> see? Um, basically that's Elliot right back there in the fucking gazebo, isn't it? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, that should be. Elliot. Yeah, uh, he was meeting with uh, one of their. Oh, I don't even know what rank he'd have been. Fucking head guys, it seemed, sounded like. And uh, there's mm. a PFC there. I never got any names. But uh, basically, we're fucked here, boys. Putting it mildly. Like, um, they pretty much said wow, we're just a that? bunch of fucking lab, rat, lab rats for him. They're Jeez, using us grass. to figure out how this disease works, how it spreads, how fast it you know incubates, the whole fucking nine yards. That they are doing this for the good of the U.S. and that our little piddly ass lives aren't worth shit in the bigger hole of the number. Okay. What the fuck's Elliot got to do with this? Like, he why was, was he talking uh, to them about it? He was doing... He said he was trying to be a mediator between yeah. us and them. Mediator? Yeah. Some kind of interview, basically uh, getting their side of it. He was saying something about uh, maybe working together, but he did not seem to like what they were laying down. I mean, he was pretty pissed off. Uh, without you know saying too much on, on that fact, uh, you could tell he was he was rattled by it. He uh, kind of uh... yeah, but how the fuck did he go? Hold on, this doesn't make any fucking. Nobody just goes and talks to the fucking military, right? Exactly. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't I mean... hear anything about how he got in. Just uh, we were kind of mid conversation when we turned the radio on to their. You know, frequency, and luckily, one of them in there had their radio on, so we were listening. They were up in that uh, control tower, and it was two of them and then the one guard. And, uh, yeah, basically, it was Elliot trying to be, to write some kind of in-depth interview. Now, I don't know who for. Yeah, that's weird. BBC, because, you know, he's British. I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah, but does the fucking Foretaste. BBC even exist? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's like... It almost sounds like whatever's happening here is worse here than other places. Oh, okay. Um, he kept referring to the island as a quarantine zone? Quarantine island? Yes, yeah, we've heard some shit about that a while back. Yeah. That's what he kept uh, referring to the islands around here as. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's just kind of weird. That's just opinion. it. I it's mean, trying to play like, it. One, to get a meeting with the military, I guess. It was easier for him because, you know, military is always at fucking Ava's and whatnot, so they must be in some kind of good books with them. And I get, like, this is what I don't get as well, right? So... Who the fuck's he reporting to? Like, does the media even still fucking exist? Well, to tell you the truth, that motherfucker's sitting right over there. We could easily go and check. Sure. I mean, call. I'm just like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, that's just it. Is I couldn't tell you. I, I mean, the answers are in that man's head right there. And uh, it, like I said, to me, he sounded not very... Uh, working with. He was just kind of doing his thing, being the reporter. He was not happy with what they were saying. And he kind of stood his ground a bit, but I'm glad he didn't go any harder, otherwise they might have put a bullet in his head and walked away. So oh, Didn't mean to do that, sorry. It's, uh, it's all good, dude. Uh, go. We're kind of freaked out, too. But uh, I would say if we ask him you know in a good way and not just fucking get in his face maybe he'll talk to us because he was rattled and right now he's laying over there because i think he just doesn't know what to think okay well your best bet your pony show i ain't mine you know I'm, more than me do. I, I'm, I'm fucking pretty much the new guy in this fucking group so i'm i'm just throwing out there what i think too Hey, I wasn't even there, so I'm out of it. I'm here to listen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I'm interested in knowing like what the fuck's going on with who's he, who the fuck he's reporting to. Because in my mind, it's like, well, no media fucking exists. What the fuck you doing? Wow. So he's leaving. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think he's gone. Yeah, he fucking booked it. 
No, he's or he's getting the axe out. Yeah. Well, that's all I'm interested in, really. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> like, I'd like to know what they're you know, saying mainly too. Like, you know, whoever's re reporting to, I I don't know, but uh, what was said there and a little more, you know, because we didn't hear kind of everything. I'd be more curious what the fuck's going on in full. As a reporter, I'm yeah. sure he's got it all in his head rattling around right now. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you're probably better asking them, because, uh... I mean, yesterday I was kind of a bit fucking blunt with him. Um, so he's probably not going to be in the talking mood with me. Ross, when you came up, uh, what would you say to him, Neely? Does he know we were there? I mean, not from what I said, but uh, maybe from, you know, you saying, yeah, I heard everything. But... I just asked him how he's doing. He said, I'm cold and wet. Getting just dropped off by the military, and then that's when everybody else walked up. Okay. Like it. Was the next yeah. question? Yeah, fuck it. Well, anyway, that fire is looking real enticing, so. Yeah, yeah, we're fucking wet, cold, goddamn. Okay, uh, can my call sign be like, uh. Yeah, I'm still trying to get that, uh, fucking car off that, uh, what was his name again? Uh, uh, An Anatoly? Anatoly, Anatoly, yeah. Anatoly. Something like that. It didn't yeah, sound I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't understand cool. half the shit he was saying. Nice guy, though. I mean, I love the car, dude. He fucking oh, yeah, man, got people that thing be like tweet. that. Holy shit, that thing drives good. Yeah, that's man to people for you, though. Yeah. Real nice, just can't understand a fucking word they're saying. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Yeah, who gave us a ride hey, up Bruce, there, you I know? think the note on the end out there is for you. Was it say stop fucking drinking? Nah, it's from Hunter, I think. Too loud. Oh, fuck. I'll turn it up a little bit. Roger that. How's it going, Ellie? I haven't yeah, seen you in a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm going good. I'm just, uh... Disorientated. That way. I bet. Well, I'm gonna lay it down for you, my man. We were uh, kind of listening in on everything you were talking about up there. Yeah, they're a bunch of fucking animals. Yeah, it's, you know, uh... Mm-hmm. Uh, I wouldn't even have said nothing sitting here, but uh, to be honest, it sounded like you had the same idea we did about that. You uh, didn't seem very fucking happy either. You know where Tinsley is? At this very moment, no. Bruce? No idea. Yeah, I'm not sure I hadn't seen him, to be honest. I don't think you can get ready hold of him, as far as I know, at least. I've tried calling him in the past and usually get somebody else. Now we've lucked out here and there, but yeah, that's been about it. I, haven't seen I just want to ask a simple question days. of... How did you get a meeting with him? <laughs> Bumped into one of their soldiers. What? That, that's it? You just fucking bumped into him and you were like, Hey, let's have a meeting. <laughs> I, uh, arranged, uh, I guess, uh, try a meet of the minds, but I guess he doesn't really much have a mind, more of a, a code. Well, what do you say? I mean, you were there, right? Yeah, you just rinse and repeat about it's for the greater good and that they, um, God. Take your time, man. Yeah, it was just all about, um, that for the greater good of the United States and all parties, pretty much that they don't help us, they don't relay any information, they 
keep this island as exactly how it is. So, uh, I mean, what was the reasoning? Lab. Yeah. Yeah, we were catching most of the conversation. It was fucking windy up there in that goddamn place we were hanging. Uh, the gist we got was uh, lab rats and basically testing to see how this virus works. What, uh, is that pretty on par with it? Uh, what else did you get for a wise? And the mainland is somewhat controlled. So we're pretty much the ones fucked here in a, in a glass jar. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how much in the way I can... Go ahead, go on, go. Go on. I was just saying, they said there's some, like, immunities to it, but people still turn and they say, like, what... that had to do with anything? S something within, uh, certain chromosomes or something? That's what he said. Hmm. Not really the technical and the whole science of it all, but I think that's what it was. Certain chromosomes and certain, uh, uh, I guess maybe certain people are immune or more prone to the infection and they can't risk those people who are, that are really prone to the infection getting out and then spreading it I, I don't know how to like judge on how he was saying it but it it kinda sounds like um, that is dormant so like it's activated. Fuck, I wish Charles was here. Yeah, probably something like that. Um, maybe... I don't know, you ever seen anyone dead and not a single bite or scratch get up? Not yet, I haven't. Nope. Hmm. Then again, I usually double tap. Infect and whatnot. If I have to kill somebody, I don't want them getting fucking back up so they get double tapped too. That's a rare occasion, usually. Jesus Christ. So. Maybe we could ask that neurologist fella. If it's yeah. about chromosomes yep. and whatnot, he might know. Who's that? I don't think I've ever heard of this guy. Oh shit, I couldn't rightly tell you his name. I can't remember. Wait. But he's some neurologist, know where he lives though. Yeah, they took him the other day. Yeah, definitely. I don't know him very what well. What do you mean they got him? The military. We were out um, someplace east, me and Alexi. And we go searching the place, we have to literally <laughs> sit beneath some trees the entire night and wait for this guy to stop searching around. We get to the same place, me, Ava, and Fox, and some other guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. Eddie? Maybe? Yeah. Uh, we were all taken. And then eventually let go, but yeah, this same prison cell that they drove us from, this guy was just in there. Mm. Yeah, but like, where the fuck is that? So, because you're kind of you're talking going, around shit. As you're going to Warren Cove, there's a turning that goes off into literally bumfuck nowhere. If you keep following Warren all the way. Warren Cove? No, sorry, Warren Cove. Got it. Town's mixed up. Um, 
Woldebar? Woldebarrow? Woldebarrow. Oh, fucking that. Woldebarrow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a turning before you get in the town. It goes off to the right and it goes into the middle of nowhere. Oh. You went there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's yeah, bad. Yeah, count your fucking blessings. Wait. Yeah, we took our time, we... <laughs> it's a uh, town out below the mountain. Uh, east, northeast way. Wait a minute, that's not the place I was taking, was it? On an island? I don't know, where were they? Uh, I don't know. No. You were taking I don't think that's an island out there. Well, what I was on is island. The place Holy which Elliot's fuck. talking about is, uh... Okay. Yeah. The place which Elliot's talking humans. about is not safe. There's fucking military patrols. There's, like, a lot of shit out there that's military. Yeah, we watched them yeah. for a while. Um, they... They come there at night, and... That's a good save. They Fuck just it. take patrols around there at night after, well, pretty much sundown. They come there in their trucks and they start scouring the area. They look around, they take out the dead and leave by morning. We know that we, uh, we could hear... I don't know how many fucking trucks it sounded like five plus maybe leave the area. Yep. God damn. So yeah, yeah when we, I went out we, there, they were fucking we, everywhere as well. I think that's their patrol. If uh, God, um, Artyom, he went out that way. With my information, he, he kind of done it before, and I guess he wants to go try it again. Doesn't seem very smart, to be completely honest. <laughs> I mean, I, I went out there once. I went during the daytime. Fucking military everywhere. And I was like, yep, not going back. Yeah, I tend to stay away from that shit. Is. Harry doesn't want to go back, that means it's a fucked fuck place. There's just so many military there, it isn't worth it. It's just like... I don't like going down there. Because did you drive or walk up? We walked. Okay. How many did you go with? Just me and Alexi. I have no I'm going to be completely frank, that was pretty fucking stupid of you. Because if something happens out there, you're kind of fucked. You know, you gotta walk back. I've seen wolves out there, and then there's military. Yep, yep. we encountered wolves. Yeah, once is enough for me. This is just my, uh... Like zero is enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. My report tendencies, I guess. I don't know what fucking kind of reporter you are that you go, Oh fuck, look here's a dangerous place, I'm just gonna go have a look. Yeah, I've might... been into a few <laughs> active war zones in my time. My, uh, yeah, it, my basic different. bitch sense is uh, tingling, and I will stay away from that shit, thank you very much. <laughs> yep. Just gotta keep in mind there. Uh, laws of war don't apply, I don't think now. With all the shit the military and CDC do, fuck, they might just shoot you. I think most people have been getting lucky so far. You know, at worst, some people have had blood taken. You know, got beat up a little bit. But I think if you hang around there too much, I reckon they might just start shooting first, asking questions second. Well, I guess we'll find out if Alexi, uh, not Alexi, uh, Artyom comes back. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he was up, uh, yeah, fuck the if he comes back. earlier today. 
Well, he had uh, the balls to go out there twice. I've only been out there once. So. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll put it this way. I ain't doing no more fucking favors. So, if Ava sends her dumbass out there and gets shot, I'm not crawling out there to get her. Or did that once. I understand what, what went on. I understand your your temper on the whole thing. Well, it's not just my temper; it's everybody's fucking temper. I don't. You don't understand the position you're in, obviously. Like, I don't think you appreciate the privileges that you have compared to the rest of us. You know. Look at it from our perspective. You live like kings. Oh, he hates you know? that fucking compound. <laughs> We're here in <laughs> fucking oh, so so bad. Like rats. Elliot, Took let me tell you something. I love his character because he just fucking hates I've been around outpost. for a long fucking time here. Apart from Ava, and even Ava wasn't here before me. When she arrived, she had that whole place set up within a couple of days. So... It's been that way for quite a while. Now, yes, I can concede that, you know, a lot of your stuff in there and your ability to live nicely has been earned through hard work and labor. I understand that. But, you're still living like fucking kings. No, I don't see you guys coming out and helping out the small folk. No? Gross here is giving that. a lot. Oh, I'm sure you will try. <laughs> but, look at what, you know, Daryl did. You know, look at what Bruce does. You know, people who are already kind of in the shit, still trying to help people. I haven't seen the Ava do a fuck all. And it's kind of fucking annoying when we roll around and you expect us to pay you to cross the fucking bridge. So you can kind of understand where we're coming from now, right? Yeah. I never seen the point of it. If well, you, considering you're back you know, with Ava, pain. I'm sure that you can talk some fucking <laughs> sense into her. Yeah, not really back. Oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you're back together. Whether you like it or not. Anyway, did you move all your shit out of that apartment? Yeah, it's unlocked. Okay, good. Fuck, man. I, I want to be able to... Well, I, I think, um... Tinsley, he wants to recruit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. More or less. <laughs> I'll see what I can say to Ava. But, you know how that's probably gonna go. Yep. I have an answer already in my head going along something like No, we need the ammunition for blah or no, we need to pay off the military for blah I think uh, it's about time the military get a uh, well, piece of their own medicine Good fucking luck <laughs> Like <laughs> Yeah if you're dumb enough to go fight the military, you can do it on your own. You're not dragging the rest of us down that path, my friend. I don't know what you've chased. experienced, but yeah. I'll let Bruce fucking explain what happened to him. The, I ain't chasing after plate carriers and fucking bulletproof trucks and automatic weapons with a shotgun. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why Shit I want to try us. and you know, help Tinsley. He's, he's already got what? a fucking bulletproof car. He's already <laughs> got a few. From my viewpoint. Yeah. He's got those zombies, that's for sure. I'm just thinking. I mean, like, he's able to trying mortar to get a few them. of those bastards. 
the problem isn't necessarily convincing him. I think he's already well and truly convinced that he needs to fight and get back against the military. I think the problem is actually talking to him. I'm sure Bruce here can probably attest to how difficult that can be. You know, right. turn on the radio, you're not going to get Tinsley. Or you get somebody Last else, and that's somebody else. Yeah. Four or five days ago, I reckon. There you go. I mean, more power to you, of course. But, uh, just be aware that he's not an easy man to reach. Oh, you know? uh, he has been putting the word out about a community meeting. I don't know if anybody else oh, got shit, that Oh, shit, really? One. Yep. I that, didn't hear that. I think that's uh, why we need well, him. <laughs> we talked well, to him. I'll, I'll, just, option, I'll, I'll just fucking say it. We talked to him, what was it, uh, yesterday, day before? Probably, yeah, like two days ago. He came down to our place. Um, his uh, boys there noticed, you know, us living there. And uh, he basically said that they want a community meeting probably, I'd give it eight days from now, give or take, uh, at the school by Mountainville. Yeah, that's the that's the same information I've heard. Yeah. I thought it was more a, a recruitment. Uh, mm -hmm. it's more Reaching along the lines, it sounds yeah, like he wants... something like that, he's wanting bodies. Yeah, he wants people banding together to, uh, get this shit figured out. You know, to do what yeah, uh, we need to do and stuff. Same thing I want. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he knows as well but... as anybody that we need to kind of come together if we're going to survive this shit. And I'm just going to say it out, I don't think at least three of the people in my compound where I live are going to do a thing. I, I would, if I was you, not Maybe even... Maybe Alexi. You know, do they know about it, I take it already, than if you did? Yeah. Okay, no, I don't think, even think he was going to extend that offer, because he kind of... I think he kind feelings. of maybe trusts Ava. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bit hard to consider factors that don't concern you. You get what I'm trying to say? I mean, for mean? us, Sorry. for the most part, it's like, you know, it's real fucking hard. You know, we try and go somewhere, it's gas. We go try and do something, you know, military shows up, people get beaten up and whatnot. You know, for the people in your compound, you live in relatively, keep in mind, I say relatively here, peaceful and, profit, peaceful and prosperous environment. Take Knox, for example, he's pretty fucking tooled up, you know? You'd be feeling pretty fucking secure there. Yeah. So I can see why he wouldn't... Big -headed by the day. Well, that's the thing. He wouldn't really see it from our perspective in terms of, you know, you know, the military doesn't pose as big of a threat. He's a lapdog. You no. Know? <laughs> I can say the same thing about you, Elliot. Say the same thing about everybody in Ava's compound, because that's just the way it is. It's just fucking the right out straight. That is not the case. Why do you think I want to help Tinsley? Uh, I think you've got some own motives, of course. But, uh, I mean, you came back, didn't you? <laughs> I'm only going off by what I know, you know. So, of course, you know, you're going to have your own view on this situation. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. You know, just the way I see it, it's, you know, to me it looks like you just came back. Whether or not that's the right answer, or whether or not that's the right truth, you know, that's another question. I ended up going back with a few of these guys, uh, God, I, um, who were here, maybe? I, I don't know if any of you guys were with me when I told you to leave. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I go into the compound and... Well, I was about to. I see one of those trucks inside. And I'm like, okay, alright. Is this, I guess, the deal that's going on? Somewhat. Whatever they fucking came for. And I, I yeah, I, I hear over here that they're pretty much saying that it's a lot better off on the mainland than it is here. And I'm just like, why? Why did she do it? You know, why work with these assholes? I think you see it's very understandable if you look at it. They're a threat. They're the U.S. fucking army, for God's sake. And not just that. There's other groups out there. There's what? Artyom's probably already shown you. At least. Probably one of you. Some documentation about uh, SOCOM or whatever the fuck they are. It yeah, well, that's just military as well. Yeah. And yeah. some of them are divided. Some of them are out here doing different things. Hey Bruce, do you have an axe I can borrow? Go get some firewood. Thank you. Well. I just want us all to work together, have, I guess, one place where everyone can go and feel safe. I, uh, I do want, I would love everyone fucking here on this island to be in one location and we can just go fuck you middle finger to the US fucking army but I don't think that's the capability that's not a possibility well who the fuck's just like who's thinking that's a good idea <laughs> not me that's why I don't understand yeah like is this well, coming from Ava like, you know here you go Bro. Because, again, like, God, I look at it from a different perspective. I'm not saying it's coming from you. I'm just saying, you know, look at it from our perspective, right? Most people here are for shotguns and hunting rifles. So the idea of going up against military and armored trucks with full auto assault rifles, you know, whatever other hardware they have is kind of <laughs> insane to us. You know, some people are doing a little bit better. I'll admit it myself, you know, I've got a plate carrier, I've got a semi-automatic rifle. I'm doing pretty fucking good. So, you know, I guess in Ava's eyes, and I guess some of the other people from your compound, to them it seems a lot more feasible because they have the equipment to do so. Yeah, and I want to try and help you guys out. But it's hard when some people... I guess, in, in turn, want more than they should have. Oh, now you we see should... the problem, right? Now you see why I went to that military fucking place. I want that equipment so it can be spread out and we can actually defend ourselves so we aren't just carrying shotguns. Okay then, well... In that case, something's got to change it with Ava, because, to be completely honest with you, I don't think you can do a whole fucking lot for us right now. Unless you can... Like, I'll put it this way. People have gone around there to try and trade, and usually it goes this way. No, sorry, not open, Ava's not home. Or then when you do trade, it's kind of usually at your gain or loss. So, a lot of people now are kind of going, well, why should we head around to Ava's to trade? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh. So, I mean, 
you know, you talk about spreading this uh, wealth, I guess. You know. You know how much five five six I have. You probably have more than me. Just in a, as no, an individual. No, I don't. No, sir. I have got three magazines of twenty. That is it. I got given hmm. two packs yesterday, which sit in my house. That's it. Yeah, I think over the weeks that I've been back, like I mean, back as in in the not like in the split, but like. I've been gone for a long time. What Ava did, setting up the refugee camp, doing the outpost, I wasn't there for that. I don't know what happened in that time of her doing all that, but before this, it was... We were the same situation as you guys were. It was hard. We had to struggle. But I, I guess over time she's created some relations somehow in the military to try and get some sort of fucking normality in some situations anyway. But the CDC, they're just doing their own thing. They're gassing us. They're gassing uh, Stunnington, which has the refugee camp there. They're gassing fucking everywhere and we can't do anything about it. I wish we could. We can't mm -hmm. control what they do. I don't think the army can either. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, Bruce, what do you think about all this? Pretty much exactly what you've been saying. Like, it's it's hard for us, and like, I don't know, I don't know what you have been dealing with the last fucking few days, but for us. We've been dealing with constant fucking World War Three, like within fucking two foot of our faces. Dealing with the military. Last three days, all we've been trying to do is get out, get some material to build ourselves a home and fucking survive. And the next minute, we got fucking military and CDC within two foot of our face, like letting off fucking five thousand rounds. Every day, this is this is a constant occurrence now. It's not, and then we're constantly living in fucking fear every fucking day. Like, we want to be able to, as you said, get some normality in life. But, like, with the military and CDC around, and I guess whatever the fuck's going on down at Ava's compound, we're not going to get normality anytime soon. I'm going to see what I can do for you guys. I'm going to try. What is, I got a question. Like, what is your toll for your, your place up there to go past that? I was, I was going to ask this. I, 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 I actually haven't even ever seen anyone get a toll. I don't even know, I know. what it Okay, is. I understand that, but what, what, I think someone said, what, 20 rounds the other day? I think it, the note said 20 rounds, yeah. 20 okay, rounds of I any own, ammunition. I own 30 rounds to my rifle. That's all I got. Hmm. If I go through that place twice, I got no ammo left to protect myself. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess in, in my case, uh, yeah, it does seem sweet, yeah, I'm living out of a fucking mansion in the middle of a compound that is relatively safe from... We had a horde of a hundred up there the other day. That we had to take care of. And I had to get fallen out of there. And they went back, they dealt with it. And thank God that we had that many rounds. And it's taken time for us to have that many rounds because every day there's more infected. And we check their pockets. We go through everything. And rinse and repeat, they keep fucking coming and we can't we can't control everything that comes our way because it's just a struggle as much as you guys. Yeah, we have the same we try and deal with the different parts of the island. Yeah. I mean, I, fuck, just... but like, they're infected. Like, I, I kind of feel like an asshole saying this, but like, I don't feel like that's a fair comparison. I mean, Bruce, tell them about the fucking psychopaths that were living next to you up until about fucking like a day ago. You mean the clowns? Yeah, mate. I, yeah, the meth head clowns that yeah. used to fucking 
have heads and throw them at us and fucking leave body parts at our gate and fucking oh, God, so oh, awesome. not let us sleep for weeks. Uh, yeah, Asking for meth, beating, beating my right. members, like hitting them with fucking cattle prods and fucking trying to like break in and shit like every goddamn night for like the last month and a half. To, it's just till the other day when he finally put a shotgun in his mouth and fucking pulled the trigger. In front of our oh. fucking eyes. Hmm. That's, That's the just guy. one of the many things we deal with every fucking day where we are. Or when it seems like you guys are just sitting out the back having a beer, smoking some joints, just chilling out night and having a great old time. <clears throat> Body. Person, shut up. I can't put to comparison of some psychopaths coming to your door every night. But, like, for a long time as well, it's not a comparison. But, we had those military guys shooting at us because they weren't under control. They had separate soldiers fucking just going day by day, just you know, go into the military compound below us, start blowing up the gas station, start shooting across our compound. As you seen the result, Ava took one to the fucking pretty much to its chest. Yeah, what Skimmed the fuck her, was but... up with that? I thought you guys paid the military off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know if that's a separate group. Like in the military? Like that SOCOM shit? Because I've seen a few guys around with big ass fucking rifles and they're completely blacked out. I don't know if they're any different. But as soon as, you know, we tribute or whatever the fuck it was, it stopped. Mm. I guess and they then, just wanted a little bit sooner than <laughs> something. I don't know. They've harassed us constantly and we have to deal with the shit because we have to go out there just as much as you guys and collect stuff and just give it to them. Like candy and cereal or whatever the, you know, goodies. They're a bunch of fucking children and they just want their sweeteners. They have a bunch of higher ups and they just, well, I guess do exactly what you're envisioning as, as we're doing, sitting proud in our castle. I guess the people who, you know, have the most have to give to people who are also more powerful. Yeah, that makes sense. But why the fuck would they even get shot over that? That's what I don't understand. Well, as you described, it was a precision shot. He could have shot her fucking head off. Yeah. For all he wanted. And he just skimmed her. I think it was to scare her. To scare all of us. To make us work harder. Whatever it is. Fear tactic. Maybe. In my mind, it just doesn't make sense. Like, how can... I guess, I, I don't know now, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know, I just, I, I want us to all work together, and I don't see how I'm going to do it. I, I want us to all have one safe place, you know, where we can... We'll go to our own comfy fucking beds and go, whew, you know, hard day, but I'm good. Like, we've got a bunch of supplies, we've got food growing, we've got farms, we've got whatever it is what we need. But we can still go out the next day, rinse and repeat. We may lose a few people in the process. That's just fucking life. But at least we aim for something better than letting them assholes take control and experiment on us and 
you know, just pick us up on the side of the road, gas us, whatever it is. At least if we help, you know, the local patrol guys, at least they could probably push them back a bit. I don't know. I don't know what the milica uh, military can really yeah, do to like us on talk. this island. I, I don't know how much capability they have, how much resources they can throw at us. Because if it was me and I was, you know, a government official, I would just go, just forget about it and just leave. Focus on the mainland. Because if we give them enough heat, I think they just ditch and leave. I don't think they waste their time. I think they go pick another island somewhere and rinse and repeat. But... I think they got too much set up here already. They said they want to use us for research on it. They don't see us as people anymore, they see us as a subject. Yeah, lab rats. And after the note no. we got the other day, or well, we didn't get it, but this fucking bloke I met, this CW guy, saying that the, on the note he had, they were going to be like increasing all their patrols increasing their building of the fobs and in like also that lives are now expendable we're not here to save him lives so that's another thing like if we were to you what know the theoretically fuck? let's take on the military they're gonna have no no fucking qualms and just putting one in straight in our head that's you talk i'm just trying to wait. think of safe you know safe ways to go about this okay so if they have somewhere they operate, and from what I'm looking at, their forward base, anyway, from the looks of it, is that place out east, right? That's where they're heavy the most. So it's got to be a forward base of some kind. They're protecting something out there. Yeah, from well, what I said been heavy out there with their presence. Hmm. Yeah, especially with the new one they're building really close to us. Well, when I got taken one time, uh, nice military guys uh, asked hmm. if I was living around that area. Dropped me off. I was like, not really. I'm just kind of looking around. He's like, yeah, he goes, I get a little hot over here. Building up. That's about all he said. All of a sudden, he's and shit. Starting to pop up there. So who was that specifically? Like Bravo was that Company. CDC I, or? Uh, no, it was a Bravo Company from the military. Uh, there's a medic and another guy. Uh, first time hmm. I was uh, localized area, uh, medic caught me, and I had no idea. Well, he caught both of us. Me, so he was. In the middle of explaining what the fuck's going on, and like, oh, if you ever see one of these green typhoon big ass military trucks, you know, run. And I pointed behind him. I was like, that that one, and yeah, we had to book it. But uh, he he was all over us. But that ended up being a medic guy, and he ended up being pretty nice. And uh -huh. second time, then the second time sure. I was uh, kind of nicked was him and his for something. Yeah. His uh, partner, and uh, he was decent enough to chinned out problem. FOB being upgraded. So. FOB. Uh, forward operating base something like that yeah yeah so yeah well, i was trying to think of it but yeah okay all good like i said i had and no the, fucking the idea. only yeah and the only one i know of is well the the little piece of land that goes out that way out east anyone i know of so it mentioned that area. i'm going to active well like I say if if, <laughs> if you know if uh who is it Tinsley 
has <laughs> somehow got his hands on these mortars. Like, what's going to stop us from at least giving him a hand every once in a while and going, if you're there, you know, if we could get him on the radio, like you say, it's kind of probably difficult, but, like, maybe if we well, could Tinsley's... find these forward bases. Well, Tinsley, as in the person, he's hard to get, but you can get other people from uh, what I guess his family or they work for him or something. Um, yeah. And they'll do shit, as far as I can understand. Okay, I, know I Bruce think probably there's knows two different more. families. Yeah. There's Tinsley's, and then there's someone else. I can't remember the Singletons. names. Singletons. Yeah, Singletons. Singletons. Yeah. They're the assholes. Don't fuck with the Singletons. From my understanding. So, if you get any of them on the radio, like, you ask who it is. If they act like an asshole already, like, go, oh, why should I tell you that? Just forget about it. If we can't fucking help them, why... Well, they're outside of the fam, uh, I guess, that family. Why bother? Just focus on Tinsley. Let's try and get a fucking relation going. Let's try and do something for everyone on this island. Yeah, I, I really can't do the talking anymore because everybody I hear on the radio acts like an asshole. I talk about their mother and I shut it off, so they know my voice pretty quick. Yeah, usually yeah, I get a hold of who's who's the radio voice from an other than Mr. Tinsley. It's usually one of his boys that answers. We go from there. But yeah, as as for getting a hold of Mr. Tinsley, it's pretty hard work. Like I said, I haven't seen him in four or five days, something like that. Mm. Yeah, he scared the uh -huh. shit out of us at our place. Jesus. Anyone know of a time that he said, uh, that meat's going to be? Not exactly. No, shit. Alright, I guess, uh, see if... Sorry, I thought I heard walking. Thank you. Or I heard something say like thud. What in? To my left. Fucking someone creeping around, man. Let's see. Oh, nothing wrong with that, my man. Nothing wrong with that. I fucking love it. And I'm not even stoned, so it's fine. Just gonna groom Jack here. a quick thing for you guys the, if you head uh, straight north to Portland uh, there's a circle arrangement of apartments yep if I say any, anything is a better place than anywhere else to get a really safe place going that's it I've been by hmm. there Uh, like so many places for people to park cars, so many apartments. Yeah, there's like six open an area for. You see yeah, that was pretty food. crazy, man. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'll definitely set that place up. I'll give you guys a hand if I can. All right. Yeah, definitely. 
I'll see if I can get uh, some nails, maybe some uh, equipment to set it all up. Yeah, it, it's uh, because cool eventually thing. something's gonna go south. Oh, cool. oh yeah, something's gonna happen, and I don't know what. Some big fucking civil war between fucking the Tinsley and the other family and whatnot, and the army, and so it's gonna go bad for us. Yeah, there's so many ways to pull people in on your guys' lore stuff. It's fucking amazing. I've never seen so many open Wait, opportunities yeah. to bring people in. I'm going to try all and head families, back north. All the things. I mean, even just the single Most character you guys do is uh, we'll be safe, really, right? really... What do uh, you do? Most of you guys live out in the middle of fucking nowhere, right? In Beyond Pretty that much. military yeah. tent place. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll try and stop by there, and I'll drop some supplies off there if I can. Alright. Appreciate that. Be, be safe. Be safe. Be safe, man. Yep. She does pose a good point about that up there. Yeah, I think it's a lot same thing. Yeah. Safer than Georgetown. Maybe go up there. Like you know, for a. Uh, <laughs> later oh on yeah, dude. Sometimes, man. Yeah. Well, do we have a car? My wife there does most of her the best yeah, thing. I really want to go back to home to, or around home for another day or so. Uh, we we don't have a car with us now. We are uh, gonna, you know, not use cars for a day or so. Well, yeah. Mine's really quiet, so you know, I didn't want to learn learn Stonington that we're coming to Kips. I didn't say Kips, I said the pub. Well, no, I'm just saying, they wouldn't know we're here if I drove mine, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yours is loud as fuck. This is the dip. <laughs> yeah, is, man, this is the dip. Shit. <laughs> so should love we it, maybe take that other CDC vehicle up there? Maybe see if he has, like, other things? Well, we have trade? the, uh... Oh, I, yeah, for that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. We don't have it fully kitted out, that's the only problem. I, I don't know, uh... Yeah, well, no, yeah. I just... I'm I'm worried about the trackers. What I'm worried about, I know it's probably battery operated. Well, yeah, yeah the battery's gone. The There's... moment we throw a battery in it to fucking move it, we ain't, we ain't gonna move it. There's no reason to move it. Yeah, I mean we just leave right, it if we go. Enough. We bug out. We grab our good cars and get the fuck out. I mean you got your okay. BMW, you know. Uh, anything else we need, yeah, we not... can just search. I mean, I think it was just too close to the, well, too exposed to the water down there. The salt, maybe, because oh, the red one's fine. So yeah, I don't know. Either. I don't know. So uh, where do you guys want to go? I'm up for whatever, man. Right I was uh, I was telling, I was just we sitting up at the fucking Gibbs lookout all day today, waiting for nightfall to come here. I'll try to get you on the radio a few times. Yeah, I was. I, mean, I tried for you a couple of times, but then uh, I need Harry to showed up and told us about that what he heard about was going on. So we kind of headed to the airfield. See what the fuck's going on at the air? Well, that's, that's where that mission was, or that meeting was. That's where we're talking about Elliot. You stumbled there. upon it. Uh, uh, Harry kind of. Harry told us said that he had knew there was a meeting up there. And uh, he kind of uh, said that he was going to be in one section and told us if we wanted to check out this tower there, which I knew about. Um, I've been around there, but I never went in. Uh, gave a really good bird's eye view, so we kind of crawled up there carefully. It was raining like hell, so it was perfect cover. We got up there, and I yep. just started fiddle, fiddle fucking around with the radio. And uh, luckily, and it might even have been Elliot that had his on, and we were able to listen into the combo. That's when we heard with our well, own ears fucking... what this fucking shit is, what this goddamn yeah. glass jar we're living in right now and somebody's just fucking puppeteering. Somebody's got a hand up my ass. You see it right here. It's in my ass and working us like a puppet right now. That's what's going on. It's knuckle, it's knuckle date. Oh, yeah, yeah, he... he I'm pretty sure Elbow is that touching taint right now. That was kind of good that you guys went up there then. You got that information. 
Yeah. But yeah. So we just gotta figure out what the fuck we do. Well, the only thing we know now is they're not here to help us, for sure. Yeah, they basically don't give a fuck. They're gonna keep yep. us here. We are nothing to them. Yeah, they didn't give a yeah. fuck. We're, we're just tests. We're to see the cultivation time, to check the pattern, to figure out, you know, who's gonna get infected worse, how fast it goes. I mean, we're basically just a big data processing unit. Fuck me. Fucking... That Lasky bloke, he, uh... He sprouted off a name of the dude that fucking snagged him up. That medic. He fucking gave us a name, but I've fucking forgotten. Wait, what? Lasky gave us the name of that medic. Yeah, William said it was like... Mil... Milbury? Mayberry or something? Milbury? Something like that, yeah. Sergeant Mayberry, or I don't know. <laughs> Fucking Ross, dude, go rub one out. He's sitting by the gas pumps. He's rubbing one out. He said he, 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 said he needed a minute, so I don't know what he's doing. Right, I bent over in front of him, so yeah, that's probably got him all stimulated. Yeah, I... Someone's got a pretty high opinion of themselves. I've been told so many... <laughs> Is it they? In prison. Pretty firm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve got Will. him. Steve was like, man, that pocket looks tight. Very much thing to do. Alright, so I guess we got us three here. I kind of know what he was thinking too, but what are you guys thinking about doing, like, with home? Well, the thing is, we're going to have to get something set up as a bug out joint. That's just hands down yeah. gonna have to happen. We need a place that is yeah. just, even if it's just a single uh, place built up, well, I mean, not built up, but uh, locked up, and it have a place to store a vehicle. That has to be like at least one good ways away. That way we can shit and get if it ever comes down to it. And uh, when, I say, right. when I say a vehicle, multiple vehicles would be great to be able to lock up because we'd all be yeah. probably yeah, taking yeah, the yeah. ones we have. Um, now yeah, he is right. Like us with yours and his. Yeah, Elliot is right up there. If you can drive into that section, that circle jerk up there of fucking apartment buildings has like six triple sectioned off. Uh... We're still talking about Portland, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, there's a. But just remember, mm -hmm. there is the one compound already in there. Yeah, on the south side. But I heard that one's supposed to be yeah. a decent place. I don't know. I haven't met the people okay. there. This would be on the Not north either, side. Yes. And uh, there is those big apartment buildings in a circle. And then a bunch of uh, garages also in a circle. Yeah. We may as well just go back over here and sit if we're just going to, you know, be in the road and talk. Oh, well, he's waiting for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's get moving. Where are we going? I don't know. Well, we're deciding now. Yeah, that's where we're trying to That's what we were talking wait. about is what, is what we wanted to do. Well, no matter what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go back to our places on foot. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, that's probably where I'm going to go right now. We're going to have enough pavin to scavenge yeah. for nails. I mean, we're not going to be able to do much right now because we need material. What do you mean? I got, what do you 19, mean? I got fucking 112 nails. I got 100 or something nails. I mean, I got, I, that'll put up, like, a couple of gates. I mean, that it's just, uh... Do we have any idea of a place to fucking stay? Harry said he had a spot, but he just took off, and he fucking, he's gone. He's gonna show me. Show, or show us, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where do we want to go. Do we want to go far up fucking north and be out of everything when this happens? Or do we want to go to the west side? I, it's, yeah. 
I mean, awesome. if you want, we can go explore the west side now and see what we come across. Yeah, Roger. And then we'll, if we see something we like, then we'll come back and we'll make the game plan. What are you oh. carrying? Anyone want a fishing rack? I got one. Oh, Jesus. Alright. West. Anyone want a radio? Jesus Christ! What the Jesus hell have you got Christ. in there? Aren't those, like, really fucking heavy? How do you walk around? One place I was thinking, guys, was Westbrook. Does anybody know of anybody living there or in that area? Did you not just see what the man had in his backpack? There's no way he's going to be able to run and keep up. <laughs> okay, well, you so guys you reckon know I drop which it, way is west, it's probably so... probably one of the most important things around. You're all adults. Yeah, there's a place in Westbrook I kind of scoped out. I wanted to check out, because it could uh, be a... Isn't Westbrook a patrol quite often? Yeah, from what I heard. Is it? Okay. I don't know. I don't travel in Westbrook. Well, that's why I was asking, but I think you were here, you were up a little too far for me to hear. I have no idea, you know, what gets patrolled. I mean, technically, probably every motherfucking town has a patrol going. Yeah, I think at the moment, they're fucking everywhere. The biggest thing is going to be just find a place that we can, you know, get out of and into another. Yeah. Yeah. And then we still got to get a hold of Charles yeah, I mean, and everyone. Let him know what's right going. Me. <laughs> There's one time I didn't know she had a kid. Call me a motherfucker, Jesus Christ. But no, I like I said, I, I, I'm just spitballing. Like I said, Westbrook, there was a nice big place up there that would have been, you know, a couple of walls and basically. No idea is a bad idea. Is that? Said, no idea is a bad idea. Yeah, I, I just like like I said, if we we're heading west, I figure we'd look. But like like I said, I have no Fuck it. no fucking idea where these places hit. Yeah, I just think like our best bet now is like the one we're doing now, just staying to the trees, scouting out, looking to see what we can find. Yeah, I mean the only reason uh, we'll have to if, if we have a bug out place and we do take cars, we'll have to be somewhat you know able to drive into it. Yeah. There's a big ass building up there, and uh, I don't think anybody was there. I kind of, you know, checked around the place. And, uh, didn't seem like anybody was built up in it. I'm high as shit, and I still can go in a straight line. Wait. But, I mean, at the same time, we don't have to only have one FOB, right? We can make a couple of them, you know, that way, let's say... That's what, uh, you know, Kip said he had was yeah. one in He's every major town. I don't want one in every major town. I don't no. want to be in a major town. Portland's different because they obviously don't patrol up there because there's infected everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm for all for Pretty one much. up there. I just want a backup just in case, too. That if we're gonna Do go up there. God damn, would you fucking get it over with? Oh, mate. He just asked if anyone needs food and you just scare him off. Yeah. I was gonna shoot one of Oh, sorry. I fucking. I got tons of food. I wasn't even. I uh, just. God damn, they were doing it. He was. He was pimp daddy and a couple of them. And it's like, come on, just, just get it done with. But anyway, as I was stating, I would ha I would like to at least one up north, you know, like we're talking, and then maybe one in the west. Mm -hmm. That way, if some if for some reason we skedaddle and we're going north, we get fucking caught there, you know, and uh... get it while it's on the Damn. rock. Damn. Yeah! <laughs> 
Go back here, you fuck! God oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, chasing that shit. A bullet. And I don't even have my rifle with me to take out the other one. That's... Got you got one, right? We should be good. It's stuck in the rock. It went in the crack. It oh, like slid down, and I can't uh, reach it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got my sack dry. <laughs> Holy fuck, she's right behind you. She's coming Holy right shit. Me. Ross. Ross behind you. Ross, on your right! Hold up, yep. Oh man, they're shooting our food! I guess somebody else had the same idea. Yeah, they took Ross's dinner. Took it right out of his mouth. Yeah, she's running across the meadow out here. Oh shit, it's Mr. Kitchen. Going to, but, uh... One of these want to cut up that other, that other elk over there. Don't want that meat going to waste. Yeah, no doubt. Good shit. Well, Miss Elliot, you can go and continue on with the things you have to tell me. I'm absolutely sure. I trust these men. They've been down in my compound. They've not yet taken advantage of my trust in them. Okay. Well, somewhere out east, uh, there's an island off the coast. Uh, fucking hell, I have to kind of remember. It has a huge dock area. Uh, mm -hmm. Before you get over to it, from what my understanding is, that's where they all are. Very interesting. I'll have to go up there and scout it out. Have some bulls for fish hooks. It's dangerous. I mean, fucking dangerous. They've probably got a lot of snipers been... in every post. Boy, it sucks. Yeah, How long is that gonna stay there? A lot of shit I've been dealing with has been dangerous since the, mo the, f the motherfuckers came on this goddamn island. I'm living a goddamn hole in the ground. You don't think I know it's dangerous? You think that that's new information to me, there, Mr. Elliot? <laughs> that the world is fucking dangerous? No, it's just. I understand your concerns, but I'm a man. In, I'm a man in a desperate situation. The U.S. government has come and, for lack of a better term, hijacked my entire goddamn island. Disrupted the very life that I was living before all this shit went down. It's not much. It's not just one thing I got to deal with and contend with the fact that this fucking infection is turning these people into whatever the fuck you want to call them. But the fact that they're here, they're gassing people out of their towns. Doing all the type of crazy shit I've been hearing about. I'm in a desperate I'm in a desperate situation here. I don't figure I got too much uh, else to do but to to rise up and demand my liberties as promised to me by a goddamn constitution. Now I don't think this is not something you can understand. You being a Brit, and whatnot, 
Well, we got freedoms here in the United States of America. <laughs> Freedom of the citizen. Oh, God. All right, then you can understand where I'm coming from. So, the dangerous part that you worried about there, young man, that's something that I've been dealing with every single goddamn day. And that's something I'm afraid of. I'm not, I'm not gonna tuck my tail between my leg and run. That's way the only way to fucking die. I got too much pride in myself as a man. My father would uh, be ashamed of me carrying the Tinsel name if I did not stand up and do something about all this. I won't. I won't go so far to call ourselves that, but we just simple working men, families. Uh, yeah, it can be pushed only too far. All right. Was that all the bit of information you had that you know where the military people are at? My question to you is, uh, how you been knowing about these things? Awesome. All the stuff. I'm going to be able to wear my top hat suit. Got it. All right, well, can you get in touch with those new paper folk and tell them that I've been paying for a subscription that I've been dropping off the paper at my house every Sunday? <laughs> No, I don't believe there is. Not at least not in Maine. Was he like whispering, whispering, like really? Yeah, really like low? he was really quiet. Uh, is that so? How do how do mean how you do you know that the military is forthcoming? I said I was uh, just going to inform Mr. Tinsley about our our uh, run in with the military last night and how it compounds a compromise. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm definitely gonna tell him. Uh, he might want to put on our little project that we talked about a little hole for a little bit. Roger that. I don't want his men down there right across from that place to get seen. Very smart. Well, all these things I could. So you talk... So this this soldier told you that it's different on the mainland. So what does I understand and I appreciate you bringing that information to me, but you understand from my perspective there, young man, there's nothing that happens on the mainland that's going to affect me. I don't personally give a shit about all that. I never have cared about the mainland, not going to start now. So the situation is different. That doesn't, that doesn't change my situation now, does it? All right, how am I, how am I going to do that? Oh, it's waving. Going to hop on my cellular telephone and call somebody up from the news media over there? That ain't working there, Mr. Elliot. That's interesting. And that's good news for you, right? But you have to understand that if that's the, if that's the answer to our problem here is just get off the island, then I guess, I, I guess I'm just up shit's creek without paddle, as they say. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to get off this island. This is the island I was born and raised on. So getting off the island is no solution for me there, Mr. Elliot. I don't think they let us off this island. When I, when I first... When I first got here, like, I understand that. I so you're telling what well, you're telling me then, money, Mr. Elliot, is that your plan island, like is to somehow grand. get off this island and take care of this news out into the mainstream media. I haven't seen money in a while. Well, all right. Then I, that is something I can understand. That is something I can help you with. 
Yeah, me either. I guess I'm going to head on to, uh... The I don't doubt that. That's fisherman time. We have every single people for your way to forge ahead. Well, I was just wanting to tell him this so real quick. So what does that have to do with you talking about? I mean, there's I'm just trying to be polite here. and wait. And you... So you fancy yourself some sort of superhero reporter man that's going to go out there and get all these firearms and bring them all here and lead the charge as an army? I'm just trying to understand the reality of this proposition there, Mr. Mr. Reporter. You understand that? I've lived... I understand that. You are one voice in a crowd of voices, though. You understand? I've lived, lived a lot of life. Right? We have... We have the... The failure of our youth is a lack of our experience, you understand? that you, You're green behind the ears in terms of life, and you're, you're looking out through this little roast-colored glass thing, you're going to out and change the world with your, your tiny little voice there. But it gets drowned out, young man. Now, I'm not going to tell you no. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to take a, a crap all over you, a dream that you got here. But you got to understand that I'm going to tell you, as a man, from one man to another, that if you think you're going to bring about radical change, that it's good to shoot for the moon, young man, but you got to understand the reality of where you might land. And I appreciate your efforts, and you know, I appreciate you doing all this research, and I'm willing to help you out there. But I still try to understand that without counting on any sort of special weaponry or whatever you're proposing to bring back to the island here, that Aside from that, there's nothing else that is going to help me change my circumstance for my family and myself. Right? Because that's what it comes down to. Improving the things for us Mainers here on the island. Alright. That's exactly right. But then you got to talk. Well. Then you, you got to talk to your boss and figure this whole shit out about how she's holding off on anybody else. Because she's talking about helping. She, I'm going around trying to help as much as I can, but I don't <laughs> see... I don't see how that a few times your friend today. there and her connection with the military is doing a bunch of helping, but I'm helping herself. I'm not seeing it. I read your little notes up there by the gate talking about some sort of toll. How are you going to do that to these people and tell me you're helping them one out? You see me and my boys going around, trying to break down legs, shake people down, say, I'm, hey, we're here, sending out mortars, <laughs> kill these CDC folk, now give me all your fucking money, now give me your, your bullets, your, your weapons. We're not doing that, are we? Because that's exactly. what true help looks like, you understand? That's not her refugee camp, that's a bunch of families, a bunch of families in Maine have been trying to keep that up. That wasn't her idea, that was long before she ever turned up around on this island. Now, she might be a good citizen that's going down there and putting some shit in her. I see it, I've seen a lot of folks doing that. But she's going to sit there and take credit and say, plant her flag there and say, that's what I'm doing for y'all. Now give me your bullets. Still ain't, right? It's sort of a fucked up situation to say, I'm gonna help you out, but you gotta pay me first. Cause I didn't help. That's a business transaction there, Mr. Reporter. Well, I understand that. And I have no qualms with that. I'm very happy to give you information I know. I'm glad that you're sharing information with me. And there's anything I can do to you, for you, help you get off this island and see, succeed your goals, I'm all for it. 
I'm just saying, let's talk about some reality, what we can change. There we go. You and I agree on something there. Yeah, it takes time and effort. That's exactly right. Yeah, I agree. Well, and then seems like you better go beat chicks over there and go talk to your lady boss or lady friend, however you want to call her. Start whatever effort that you need to be making. Because I feel like a lot of these fellas here that come around, you know, they, they're putting a lot of things in action. I see with Mr. Brown up there with his pub trying to service his community like that. I go up mm -hmm. there, have a drink, don't get charged anything. Seems like these boys over here got the whole fucking thing figured out. Seems like you need got some work to do, convince your late friend to come around to the right side of things. Now that's just that's my perspective from where I stand there, Mr. Elliot. Yeah, I'd like to see where his character is. At involved. least know that she doesn't want to do the toll thing anymore. Not like the other day. We were getting at each other's throats just because we shut a gate. Like That's not yeah, how we should all behave. We should just I completely agree with you there. work together. I, I'm tired of it, and I'm guessing you're tired of it. We all want to get I'm home, and we all want to get out of here. But you want to defend, you want to stay here, have your home, and I understand that. And I want to give that to you as much as I can. All right. Well, the way I work and the way we Mainers work here, Mr. Elliot, we work on account of action, not words. So for yeah. for all your fancy newspaper writings you can do, I want to see some action. All right? Um, I think in the long run as well, probably like a few of us here, we don't have training. We don't know how to fire a gun, really. Yeah, some of us know how to shoot a shotgun or put it in a certain direction, but actually know how to clear buildings and I don't know how much service you've done or... I got, I got no fucking idea how to do that. I just know how to use a weapon from, from hunting in the woods. I don't practice any of that. Bullshit video game military rock star bullshit. I don't do that <laughs> without where I come from. So I, I got no idea. Why don't you talk to your lady friend? She carry around that very fancy rifle of hers. Figures a woman like that carrying that shit, she knows how to use it. Or maybe she ain't talked to her military friends. Why don't she go over there? Why don't she talk to them about it? Do you understand what Which happened the other day? Just because we didn't live up to what they wanted us to do? They shot her. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. You understand why why that happened? You understand that, young man? See, in life, and this is where the whole experience things comes into play, that you don't understand is that when you live your life via transactional relationships, when you do have nothing to pay, there ain't no relationship there. Seems like your lady friend there learned the hard way when she doesn't have nothing to pay, How what the price is for that. So I, I don't got no fucking concern about that. Yeah, is it sad that someone got shot? No. Yeah, that's a little bit sad. Is it sad that someone had a, a transactional relationship backfired in their face? No, I don't got, give a goddamn about that. See what happens when you get in bed with someone that is up to no good? You think you're, you're going to be absolved from all that? If you step on the wrong toe, you make the wrong decision? Shit, that's what, it's just what life does to you. But you'll figure it out as you get older. You'll figure it out and get some little gray to your hair. And the world on all sunshine and rainbows there, Mr. Reporter, man. But, like I said, it ain't your fault. 
green behind me or whatnot. I'll just say I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try and try and try, but I don't know how much give I've really got. Well, in the terms my, of swaying her. That makes sense, right? But I guess my expectation is, if you really talking about wanting to change, and you go over there and talk to your little lady friend, and she don't want to change along with you, I guess that's where the rubber meets the road now, don't it? If you really want that change. Then you remove from that yourself in that situation that you don't really align yourself with. Now, that's at least where I, how I see it, where I see it. And you can tell me different, but I prefer you show me. Yeah. Now, anyhow, for the sake of the, for the sake of this boy's time here, they've been sitting on this fucking field. They're obviously here for a week. If they, if they didn't want to come talk to old Miss Tinsley, they probably would have fucked out by now. So I want to respect their time. And I appreciate the information, and I guess we'll see how things are going to turn out for you and your old lady family. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so much. Yeah. I, I'm interested yeah, I to see we'll where see. These, uh, the character goes. And oh, how well, it, you know where we're at. How the outpost and sends up. Of course, you know where you're at. You take care there. Good luck with your report. If you have anything you need me to do and help in the, in the way of helping you out, achieve your goals, try to make for the better, you awesome. just let me know, all right? The only way you can help out right now is just keep doing what you're doing. That sounds good. You be well now, Mr. Okay. Elliot. And you too. Do it now. Sorry, that, boys. Oh, nothing to be sorry it's about. Fine. We've got a bit of a talker here. Yeah, uh, we just sort of will come through and tell you we had another run in with military last night quite heavily. Um, the, the FOB up near our compound has been substantially built up. Uh, they're continually oh, bringing in tents and, uh, and their containers and stuff. But, uh, yeah, last night they got in contact with the local patrol, I guess, and they, we heard over the radio that they were falling back to the peninsula where our compound is, so we ducked out of there and ended up having a fucking nighttime fun for the military shooting around and shit. But we're in the process of trying to figure out a bug out base at the moment, hence why we're out here telling you that we're going to be away from our compound for the next day or so while we search for somewhere else to lay low. No, I think that's a good idea. Have you thought about that little town over there? Now, if you don't build up to anything too big, but through this valley there, there's, a, there's Georgetown and there's a school next to it that's got some of this on the ground facility under there, that'd be a pretty smart place to lay low. You ever seen it? Could, could I've, be something uh, we could check out. I've actually been around there. I think I know what you're talking about. That's a very smart place to go lay low, go hide out. And then uh, from yeah. where you and I were talking about, Bruce, we get all this shit sorted, we can pop up, create a great little community there in Georgetown so. Yeah, that's looking forward to the, something along those lines. But at the moment, it's everything going on. Yeah. We're fucking just constantly on the move at the moment. It's just our tails. All right, boys, let me Can do I you a favor. Here, follow me. It's a great idea. I think we should go to check your town out like it's him. Okay. This one's all ready to go. Ready to go. You boys take this, all right? Oh, shit. You sure? Sir? Oh, sure, sir? God damn. Can't even talk right now. Fuck. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more sure than you can talk then, apparently, Mr. I Russell. guess so. Jesus Christ, man. I also wanted to say, uh, you remember the place you said you were going to try to build some concrete walls for? So I was going to say I'd probably hold off on that for a day or yeah. so, or maybe even longer. Because they're right up there around that military place an awful lot lately. I don't oh, want to get your boys in trouble. Oh, I know. I appreciate that. That's good looking out. 
appreciate you not being selfish about that. Or do you want us to drop this off? Did, uh, coming? Elliot... Just drop it out of our front, our front here. Did Elliot tell you about... Uh, they always had... What's that? You, you're stuttering a little bit. Uh, the boys, I don't know if, uh, what Elliot told you, but I think <laughs> the boys got some information today, or last night, about, yeah, with... Oh, about Elliot. us just being lab rats here? Yeah. The military isn't here to help us. We already knew that. Yeah, Elliot didn't tell me nothing very specific. He just told me about some islands he knew about where some military bases was, and that was about it. Well, apparently he oh, had Russell. a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the military. Oh, you didn't say that. Oh, yeah. How do you have this one-on-one -on -one conversation? How do you facilitate uh, that? The way he told us is he just found a military guy and he arranged it, so it seemed a little fishy to me. He used his uh, reported credentials from what it sounded like, but yeah. Um, it sounds fishy, but to be honest, uh, when we're listening over the conversation, it seemed genuinely dis you know, discouraged by what they were talking about. I will put that out there. But yeah, what does military person say? Uh, basically, that we are nothing but tools to an end for the rest of America. Basically, like we are in shit creek here, mm -hmm. and it's kind of controlled out there. Uh, we're under a glass, and they want to see exactly how this shit cultivates, how it acts, how it uh, turns out. And these are exact words as military member use. Uh, not really exact, exact. More of a just. Uh, uh, I can't remember every. Oh, word you give me word. the Reader's Digest version. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's just we're we're studied. They don't give a fuck about us. Period. No, oh, okay, I can wrap my head around that. Oh. Well, I mean, that ain't fucking news to me. I guess. I mean, it's not like that I heard that, you know, straight on. But you can sort of make sense of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, I don't think I day. wanted to think about that way. At the, that's what we are. Man. So, yeah. Yeah, I figured they're scared Lives of Lives have now become expendable. Like before, I guess, people were getting snatched up and let go or escaping. I don't know. But like a guy I met the other day had a note saying that they were expanding their searches, expanding their fobs and that, you know, the life of the civilians around here are, pretty much means nothing. Like, if you have to take some out, you have to take them out. That seems like we're going in the opposite direction we need to, don't it? Yeah, exactly. This is the biggest, that's the biggest thing that's uh, come to the head with all this expansion and everything they've done. Yeah, they're expanding. Yeah, they're doing more tr trolls. But they're also now regarding us as nothing as not not a life not a human nothing they wanted two tests whatever they need to do i don't know but we from what i gather we are expendable all of us every single one i mean that's a little scary thing about hmm i got to sit and digest on that one for a bit hmm I don't, want to, I don't want to keep you boys waiting around while I'm sitting here pondering my thoughts. You guys only have so much daylight left. You all know how to get we'll to Georgetown from here. Yeah, right? I think... Right? Uh, yeah. Is it uh, better it's to about, go to the left? Yeah, straight that way. Okay. I mean, if you're going to go through the through the, the woods, yeah. Or you could just... Or if you... If you just head back up the meadow with the valley here back up towards yeah. Mr. Browning's. That's probably the fastest way. That's probably what I was thinking about doing, just hitting that main drag, go through the pub area, and head through there. Yeah. That's yeah. much easier. Me and myself, I know the woods really well, so I just drive through the woods. Oh, that's yeah. probably not probably the case for you. Uh, Come on, Ross. Uh, uh, usually, usually, yeah, usually you get a little really so at it, so. right at the floorboard. We'll drop it there back you go, off Ross. done. It's got a weird footing yeah. to it. Appreciate that. You take care of her. She's going to take care of you, boys. Oh, definitely, sir. Appreciate it, Mr. Tinsley. That's right.
boys, we're riding in style. Yeah, Jesus yeah, this Christ. This wasn't what I was expecting, but we keep going straight right here. We're going to go to that creek, aren't we? So. Yeah. What's that? The water. I was just making sure I wasn't diving into it. No, I'm going to go up towards the... Uh, he told me just to go this way and hit up towards uh, Kips. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go all the way around the island? Well, no, we're going to turn south and then or, turn again. And oh, go and right then cut Georgetown. through like the airfield. Next to it, yeah, not I in forgot. it. I was wondering who the fuck was shooting in our direction at first, and then I seen it was him, and I was like, uh, I'll let it go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see him come out of there, and then heard them shooting at him, and I was like, oh, okay. I guess they want dinner, too. Yeah, because this is the way they went when we, they took us, and then, of course, we hit the drag. And... This thing drives so nice. Oh my god, doesn't it? Holy shit. She looked pretty fucking armored, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah no she's shit. thick. Yeah. He hates the Yeah. Elliot's gonna go convincing his fucking boss. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard like to say on that one. Right? The way it, the way it, the way it keeps talking, it seems like she already has her mindset. The way she wants to do stuff. Yeah. Or maybe well, he's just gonna go like, tell her place. everything. Yeah, no shit, about. dude. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. There's that too. Just how this thing drives. these not used to driving in this place Oh, it was great. Yeah, getting uh, the info you'd like to have seen out there, which is awesome. Yeah, my character's not really the... Wait, so when are we taking this back? I just told him we drop it off to him when we're done. Well, I mean, like, is he wanting us to, like, go lay low right now or just check it out? Grab this back and check everything out? Probably just check it out and then we'll run it back to him. Okay. Pardon me, pardon me. Just so from actually where Kips is, it ain't that far of a jot. I mean, really, from where we were, it, it's just straight through the field uh, behind us. Yeah. One side, buddy. See ya, bitch. Hi, Felicia. Here's the school. We sit on the ground. Yeah, 
now. See, it's already got garages here, which is great. Alright, so if I remember correctly, when I was through here, kind of stumbled on this. It should be right over here. Yeah, right here. You can go down underneath. I don't know how to use stairs. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to jump from the top. Oh, I've been here. Ava brought me here once. Yeah, and you actually got to be a little careful here when I came down here. But uh, it goes down even farther. Yeah, right. yeah, I've been down to the bottom. Okay. I almost went down there the hard way. You know, kind of leaked over there. This would be a pretty fucking good spot to uh, hide. Them. Yep. Yeah. Of course, couldn't do much outside. We wouldn't want to be spotted. Let me oh, see if moves. I can locate Ross. You don't need to locate Ross. Bunk buddy! off at like good or like right across here oh, fuck. that way you can't see it from the top yeah, that'd down. be great and we found Ross's room in the basement it puts the lotion in the skin oh god you watched one too many you, movies did you Watch really all. just do that quote Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, technically, <laughs> what we could do is put one gate right here, and then, like, maybe fence above, just to make sure nobody can kind of leap stairs over, you know? And we'd have a nice spot that you couldn't see from the top. Inconspicuous. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah. Inconspicuous. Exactly. So yeah, if we put one yeah, gate across right. here and then kind of do up a fence above this, that would be all yeah. we need. And they couldn't see it from up there. I still either. like the uh, Portland idea. Well, yeah, but I mean, did we? Did you not listen to our conversation? <laughs> Two places, not one, because you know the moment we fucking try to, where's he going? Because you know, the one thing about Portland is the fact that you have to go through fucking Ava's spot. Now, what happens if that's taken over? We're fucked. Yeah. You know, we could be able to uh, gate off one of these, make it a little bit more hidden. We could, we could bring our vehicles if we had to and have them hid.
pretty good. Yeah. Ross. Russell. What? Anyone? What's up? <clears throat> wow! Watch yourself. <laughs> What's wrong, dude? What'd you do? I got a broken leg. I need a splint. Oh need Jesus splint. Christ! I got a broken leg. I fell down the stairs. Bruce. Got lucky. You don't have a splint, do you? Oh, never mind. I got, oh, I got one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Almost like that, you know, Steve that jumped off the pier twice and second type snapped his leg. Is this place a death trap for Bruce? <laughs> Yeah, those ch those uh, stairs are a bit nah, steep. Nah, no, it was my own idiotic stupidness. Like nah, I almost did the same own, thing. Like, so. Gabio, ka, Gabio. God, where's that cattle prod that fucking Clarence had? Just no. fucking whipping you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, I kind of just fluffed it right there. Usually I come down the center. Now, these stairs are a little bit crooked there, my man. Make sure you're going right down the center of those. Okay. I mean, I can try to help you up. Uh, I can't put any pressure on my leg. I just fall straight over. Oh, okay. You didn't have a splint or not helping? Oh, it's not really helping. I'm in so much pain. I just took some painkillers to give it, a, give it a little bit for my painkillers to work and I should be good. Careful. Where'd the others go? I don't know. Ross runs around. I was sitting there trying to talk to him, but he just keeps moving around. He's got this thing about Portland. The only pr bad part is, is if you go to Portland, that's fine. I want a place there too, but we have to have a backup. Let's say we make one in Portland and we try to go through Ava's spot and it's all fucking military up. You know, we're going to be kind of yeah. screwed if that happens. And I want to have a backup of the backup. So here we could get away we'll with that. a gate and a fence uh, down the bottom. Of yeah. the stairs, you put one up, and then you put this down there. Do you, do you go put that down there so that we have a radio down there in case we need to pull people into sure in the can. future. My insert muscle. Make it look good. Bam. No, I break my leg. Just waiting for the painkillers to kick in, and then I'm you know, got a splint and everything. Up there now. Yeah, he's, he's he's got it wrapped up pretty good. It's like him. Radio's down there on the table. So yeah, we could get away with a few nails. Hello. One fence, one gate, and this place would be fortified and nobody'd be the wiser. Uh, uh. Go easy.
<laughs> HBO or Steve there. He doesn't like to sit there and listen ah, to. I reckon uh, we get. I reckon we. Start, I reckon we fucking get the walls and gates up eventually, like real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, it, it would stay hidden. We could do the stuff underneath the ground there, and that way nobody'd see the gate and the wall. Uh, we could bo do like one or two gates out here if we need to for our vehicles. That way, when we bring them, if we had to. We need to find a lock. I have a couple of locks at home. Three oh, colors, yeah. but I have them. Yeah. Better than nothing. Yep, exactly. Better than no coders. There's Ross. He's running Ross. <sighs> See, I like to hear. I've got like maybe a hundred and something nails at home. Um, I got about eighty. Yeah, he said he's got. Yeah, he's got some nails, so we can definitely get some stuff up. I want to do it real quick in case someone else finds this place. I don't think many people come around here. I mean, I noticed this a while back and nothing. But yeah, I mean, I right with. It wouldn't take much, like I said, one gate, one wall down there to fortify it. We'd be good for the bait, you know, the the below and then... And all of us fucking all of us working, we'll get it done real quick. Yep. And then eventually if I get more nails and shit, I can like gate up a couple of those uh, garages for our vehicles. If we ever have to bug out. We should have safe. enough between all three of us. I think Jay's got a hundred odd. I've got a hundred odd. You've got ideas. Yeah. Between all three of us, we should be able to do all of it. Yeah, I just haven't found shit, man. I've been checking, it's dude. This is cool. I found pot. Yeah, pot. And awesome. then I found 308. Oh, nice. 308 in a school? Are you fucking shit. That's me? what I was thinking. Classic America! Did God. It, it got him. That's why I made the joke with the pot first. <laughs> <God> damn. <laughs> why is he on the roof? Checking out shit. I mean, you never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've so what I was found saying, shit. Like we should uh, come back here pretty quick, or well, pretty soon. Uh, get these doors and shit up eventually, so that we can get this place before someone else finds. For sure. All right, I'll uh, see you guys around. Yeah. What's up? Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm gonna lay low for a while. Have fun with that. Wait, did he want the car back now? Or I thought he wanted it back in the morning. I just, you know, when we're done, basically. So what are we going to do then? Uh, how much light have we got? Can we get it, drop it off, and then get back here in before the light goes out? Um, probably. Just worry about fucking. Oh, we'll cross it underground. Yeah, we'll just gonna do we're gonna go get the nails in this or 
Uh, fuck. Well, I don't want to take Tinsy's car down where the military is in case it gets blown up. Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, because I, I really don't want to have to repay a vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no, no way to repay something is. like there's this. So, uh, yeah, we can just take this back and we'll go from there. That sounds great to me, too. Yeah, yeah it, it was really, super yeah. fucking awesome yeah. that he let us uh, use this to check that out, and I don't want to push it. Get it back to him in nice shape, and uh, maybe down the road, if we ever have a fucking tough time, you'll, you know, willing to help us out again. Drive so nice, though. What's up with Ross? God damn. I don't know. Playing low. Doesn't want to be caught driving around, I guess. I mean, I understand that, but... I get maybe pressure's getting to him, I don't know. Yeah, I would say. Well, you know, like I said, I, I understand his thing for Portland, but at the same time, we have yeah. to have a second one. Because if we go and Ava's place is compromised, there's only one way up there. And if that is military fucking taken, when we go to bug out, we're fucked. So if we have this place here, which is easy enough to get up, you know, get done up, then do another one up in Portland. And we can, you know, say, okay, yeah. um, Looks like they're north, let's go west. Oh, it looks like they're west, let's go north. You know, at least that'll give us somewhat of a uh, you know, option. Yeah. Takes the back road a lot better than my car does. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, we went and checked it out. Uh, we're going to set something up there. Well, how the figure you're going to walk yourselves all the way back over to your other place? 
Uh, we're gonna kind of stay we're low. Getting caught up by the military. Uh, we figured we'd just go through the woods. You know, we didn't want to uh, get over there and have something happen with your vehicle, and uh, yeah. Well, I ain't too much worried about that. You see all the vehicles I got on here? Well, I know. It's just uh, we would feel like we ha we would owe you this vehicle, <laughs> and with no way of paying it back. I don't know, Mr. Russell. Have I ever proven to be that type of gentleman? Well, of course not. Some services and hold it, hold it against you. No, I, I don't believe so. But uh, my own honor system would uh, would put me in that debt. Well, fair enough. Suit yourself. I'll come pull it in. Okay. Thank you so much. You are uh, very right. Um, that place looks amazing. So we are going to uh, work our way to uh, get. Back up! I don't want to knock you with this gig. Yep. Yeah, we're back. You want to drive around in here for sure. me? Sure, can do that. Have you completed the rental paperwork? <laughs> Hell yeah. It uh, may smooth though. Let me, Love go it. Let me go and check the gas gauge and charge you for the get fuel you used. Yeah, I've got to get the mileage. Uh, Is he going <laughs> through like playing. the fucking rental booklet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, boys understood that. All right. It's good if we can have a laugh there. <laughs> oh, <terms>. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much, that's all I do anymore is try to laugh off a situation. That's the only thing that keeps me sane. All right, you boys. You take right. care now. You be you safe. Be yeah, thank you yeah, so much, sir. Up. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Mr. Tinsley. Yep, right out. Sun's going down. Let's make a move. Yep. Hell yeah. That lets me uh, just break that off my bucket list. What are you writing off? Oh, just driving one of them Humvees, man. No. Oh. Yeah, I think my leg feels a little bit better. Yeah, come on, hop along. Oh, that hurt, man. Oh, yeah, I bet. I mean, I give you a 9.5 for oh, the uh, the dive, but the landing was a little rough. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Can't use stairs. Maybe I'm just uh, uncoordinated. I don't know what stairs are. Triple axle into a full spready. Get down there and he's on the ground fucking <laughs> flopping like a trout that just got caught. Yeah, it was definitely nice of him to let us use that. Oh, yeah. But now, the long trek. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we could, and like you said, we could have used it, but... I. We all said the same thing. If something happened to it, yeah. whether he held us accountable or not, it's, you know. He needs those, you know, just as much, if not more, than we do. Oh, yeah, for sure. Sometimes it's, it's comfortable just going through the woods, you know. Or giant open fields. Well, yeah, but I mean... Or infected, infested towns. You just know how to fucking squash on my sack, don't you? <laughs> oh, look, he's down. Let's beat him. Kick him while he's down, I, boys. Get isn't that what you're supposed to do? Uh, I guess, yeah.
That was fun. Don't know how much longer I'll be able to be awake. I only sleep a few hours a night, but... When I start getting tired, it hits me hard and fast, unfortunately. I'm so used to getting up at about 4 or 5 in the morning. Are you fucking drinking milk? It's water! Fucking hell. I was about to start fucking throwing up then. I'm just surprised you're questioning the milk and not the gasoline drink. You drank mm. gasoline? Well, it was accidental. I was using one of my bottles to fill up the car when we'd gotten it and... Well, it was the uh, Lancer that we got found. to wash it out, didn't you? Uh, no, I actually had the gas in there and I started filling it and I stopped and was talking and just nonchalantly decided, hey, I'm going to take a couple of sips. And yeah, it wasn't until the second sip that I realized that's not water. I'm so surprised it wasn't the first sip that told you. Starting in you know, tomorrow, I can find some nails. We don't need a lot, you know. Like I said, we'll be able to get this place done up. Who's this? You guys scared the fucking shit out of me. To be honest with you, <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> I saw you guys coming okay, up the you, hill there, and I was like, I hid in the trees because I didn't know who the fuck you were. I was like, oh, be smart. Yeah, did you guys get my well, note over there? Well, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah I got some, some shit. Not nails or anything, but I wish I did. Just, uh, just mostly some ammo. All right. and light Come with us then. We got, yeah. uh, we're losing light, so we got a fair way to go. You guys going back? Uh, no, we're, um, we're just hiding out. We need bit some materials. Actually, uh, if we're going yeah. back, we're going back to our place. Let's just go through the woods here, guys. If we take the fucking road, we're actually backtracking. <laughs> you, uh, sleep well last night? Oh, yeah, so this way over here, guys. Wore off and you fucking passed out. If we take this direct route, we'll almost hit our place, so... What the fuck, sleep? Uh, that's your last night. Uh, uh, close your eyes and... Yeah, you sleep. <laughs> but after the last few nights... So far, I had a bit of searching for nails this morning, but I ended up going with my family and went over to my parents' house and visited them because I haven't seen them in a while. They live about an hour away. Just did a lot of family time today. Needed it.
Well, I'm not being too talkative because I'm a little bit tired at the moment. It's a long day. I don't know. I'll probably give them my nails or and I might stop, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if Hunter's around, they'll have at least a third person. I don't know if Ross will be back there waiting for him or what's he doing. What kind of stuff do you find? Um, uh, just uh, you know, more medical supplies. Uh, I mean, I found. Okay. Uh, some ammo. Uh, Bruce, I, are you rocking that 22 still? Or? Yeah. I, I got a clip for you. Some ammo in it. A whole bunch of, I mean, just small amounts of shit. But. Small amounts is better than nothing. wife lied to me. <laughs> uh, 40 Smith and Wesson and a two, two rounds of 25 ACP. I don't know if anybody needs any of that. No idea what that even goes to. And two rounds of 45. Two rounds, living large. <laughs> It's really shit that I can find. Yeah, 45, uh, pretty much, uh, I go after a uh, police officer wearing fucking zombs, and I'll either get 357 or 45 out of them. Usually full boxes, too. in the fucking woods, Jay! Beside this tree. And then that tree. These bushes. There's a shack right there. I told you. I'll see you out. Where's Sunset? I was gonna say, if you look right over there, there's the little outpost. Right before Sunset. Yep. I just, uh, ignore everything he says. What? Nothing. Ignore what I say? Okay, I'm gonna leave your ass in your own fucking compound next whoa, time. Whoa, 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 we're still friends. So are we driving a car back? It's a smart thing to do. I mean, they are set up for right there now. Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, I assumed we were uh, going to do this in the morning, but here we are. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how much longer I can go. I'm, my body's giving up on me. Yeah, I'm kind of the same boat. It's been a fucking hugely long day for me. I'm willing to go check it out in the morning, though. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know if he's going to be playing What's that? Just worried about Steve just spending the night out there? I mean, fucking... Cross, yeah. Cross. You're thinking about my bunk buddy. <laughs> don't be fucking thinking Fuck. about my bunk buddy. Yeah, I know, Steve, your fucking bunk buddy. Yeah, he's mine. You fucking stay away from him. 
I will. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I'm worried about him just fucking sleeping out there by himself. Yeah, he's made it this far on his own. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, you're probably, you know, taking a hit. But no, it was uh, extremely good. I was a little far back, so I didn't hear Elliot too much, and I didn't want to get too close. Um, you know, letting you guys talk, but it was definitely the questions that yeah, I know you wanted to hear. It's just uh, my character tends not to be too forward or pushy with uh, things. He's like super nice, so I I'll kind of push towards a direction, and hopefully other people that will take it and run with it. But no, it was uh, definitely some interesting shit that they got to think about. I uh, can't wait to see where this goes. Yeah, but I mean, that's how I play mine. He's extremely lawfully good. It's, you know, kind of like me being in the apocalypse. And I try to stick with that demeanor at all costs. You know, he does evolve, you know, like the military thing. He was super nice. He goes up, gets captured. Now it's like, you know what, fuck them. I'm done helping, you know. I, I'll still help survivors. Stuff like that. He's still extremely, you know, helpful with that. It's just, uh, yeah, military. He's like, nope, no more. Don't care. I'll probably uh, go to my house and grab my nails as well. Yeah, because I got about uh, 80 you're all, some. You're all heading back. You're all heading back there in the morning, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to probably head back there. I don't know. I, might, uh, I get up, like, super early, so... Yeah, yeah, just so when I wake up, uh, I know where you guys are. Yeah. Because I won't be going back at, I won't be going back tonight, and I probably won't go back till all of us are together again. We'll just fucking yeah, but yeah I, we and, can... Uh, this way. I'll probably wait around maybe for... Jay or something if he decides to, you know, if he gets up early enough, we can go head back there and kind of get it set up. I got a lock, I got wire. Yeah. Nails, I should have enough to do what we need there. I know Jay's got some too, so we should be good. Tools? You got tools? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got everything. I just don't want to go around that compound. No. Ooh, not at all. No, we can run down towards our place, and he can even go through the, the water like we do and get there without anybody seeing him. Yeah. I wish I wasn't so fucking tired tonight. That I was just gone all day and like my sleep habits are just, you know, very low end and when I get tired it hits hard. I can feel it coming. I'll be back up at like four or five in the fucking morning and I'll jump on here usually about Um, there's somebody running down the road right behind us. Fucking bell to the woods, bell to the woods. It's uh, either military or local patrol, one of the two. Where the fuck did Jay go? Where'd he go? He... Oh, fuck. 
the Jager. Okay, the dude's running past. What the fuck is that? A goddamn Yeti? That dude's fully killed it, kitted up, man. Is that one of those SOCOM motherfuckers? He is literally looking like fucking Boba Fett in that shit. Trying to get an eye on him to find out. Military, because uh, um, local patrol have heavy weaponry, but they don't wear army fatigues. They wear fucking like field jackets and shit like that. Yeah, there you see him there. Yeah, he's getting a drink or something. I don't know what the hell that is. But he looks like he's got a big ass heavy helmet on. Headset's going dead. Plug it in real quick. And he's just kind of sitting there. Get a drink, it looks like. You see him, Bruce? Blacksberry, come in, Blacksberry. BK. You received. Blacksberry, Blacksberry, come in, Blacksberry, BK. Okay, so okay. that guy looked fucking weird. Yeah, he's got like full kilt kit on. Uh, looks like a helmet. He's sitting there getting a drink right now. Looks like fucking Boba Fett's goddamn weird derpy cousin. I mean, do we want answers? From a dude with a gun like uh, that? Yeah, but also what, yeah, what fucking, he was running an automatic weapon. Yeah, this like shotgun probably saying. won't touch what he's got. Yeah, but if someone can get behind him. He's still sitting there. He probably thinks he probably knows he's being watched. So. There's no way in hell he didn't see us when we were bugging yeah. him. It's up to you guys. No, I really, really don't wanna we had. Yeah. We don't have any information on it yeah. looks like Boba Fett's like dirt cousin there, Chief. <laughs> Big ass helmet on. I mean, I got rifle slugs, that's about it. And even then, you're gonna have to be right on top of the guy. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're, someone's gonna have to flank get behind him, and you, hopefully, he doesn't turn around. Well, if we're gonna do something, we'd have to do it now, but. Like I said, I don't know. I really want to talk to him, but I also don't want to get any you guys in trouble either. Our biggest issue now is he's also from where we need to be, and there's also another shot that wasn't him. Yeah, there could be multiple people around us right now that we don't even know about. He could be baiting us. There's no, very true. Nobody sits by a drinking fountain that fucking long. Usually I grab and go. Nobody runs down the middle of the fucking road either. Yeah. Uh, like I said, he, yeah. we turned around and he was right there. We were coming right down through the middle of town. There. Didn't see I'd say let's just work around this and uh, 
I'll leave that fucker alone. Just, something just doesn't feel right. My basic bitch sense is tingling. Well, I also don't want to go back to base now because I think he's got someone fucking watching us. Ah, shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. As I said, they want like information to where we're at. Yeah. And with a fucking big ass weapon too. Yeah, well, we can't go back to where, from where we came. Yeah. Uh, without a doubt, Confucius say, kill the fucker, take his shit. You know what Confucius says about hole in pocket? Yeah, hold him pocket, feel cocky all day. <laughs> I've never heard that, but fuck you know that's true. Alright guys, what are we gonna do here? I really don't know what uh, it's there's just too many negative things that can happen and not enough positives. And not enough light to go back to where we came from. He's moving. Where's he headed? He headed toward the street. Oh yeah, there he goes. Back down to where he came. No, I'm, I'm telling you, he's this. This is a fucking bait job right here. I am a master baiter, and that motherfucker's baiting us. You're, you're a what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Not to make a joke right now, but okay. yeah, that's that's just somebody. That's, he's waiting. Yeah. yeah, he is waiting for somebody to just come up and take it. Cause uh, military did the same thing to me. I mean, their truck was smoking. I went up trying to help, and then boom, all of a sudden, they got me. Yeah, and the dude's running right down the fucking middle of the road. Who the fuck does that right now? With you, with a big ass weapon. Yeah. Damn it, we need that weapon though. Shit. No. Uh, we might need the weapon, but we don't need the bullets right now. <laughs> In us. Well, I don't want to get the bullets the fast way. So, best bet right now, go back towards Sunset. Go back behind the way maybe on the southern end of the base. And go down towards Bruce's first? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay. We'll, we'll do the big swing around like we used to, though. Where's Hunter? Right behind you. Not right there. Jesus Christ, you old bastard. I told you I'm blind as fuck, bro. That's the what fucking codeine's just punching. messing with you. It ain't even uh, nighttime. No, but I'm saying that's why nighttime fucks me. That's why I don't leave my house at night because I can't see in the daytime, let alone. Eat some dark. fucking carrots, bro. I ate carrots like they were fucking going out of fashion. Did nothing. Apparently, you need to use them as suppository yeah, or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, shove they that. Ain't helping you. Shove that shit up your that's ass. Not go how you eat carrots. Yeah, I would love to have talked to that guy just to see. But we'll RP standpoint, there's too many unknowns. Which city? One where Ross is sleeping. Um, Georgetown. George. Yo, he is. Fucking Georgetown College basketball team we're, we're called Georgetown Hoyers. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah. Glad we didn't go see that guy. Yep. Let's move.
There's always one last thing I can do. What's that? If you guys are really wanting to get back to base, I can bait shots. No, no, no. Stick together. I can get in and out of places a lot faster by myself. What the fuck's he doing? Just walking down? Does everybody just have an unlimited amount of fucking ammo or something? Christ! Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Does not look military. They had a poncho, a yellow jacket, and a backpack and a shotgun, it looked like. Oh, just a dumbass that likes to pull a trigger? Kind of what it looks like. Oh, yeah. All right, let's keep, uh, let's keep moving. What I want to do is get to this checkpoint and then drop over the hill on the other side. Yeah. Hang on. Cut, you good? Okay. It's me in my pants. You know, there's some things I could do without you telling me. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Call me Sergeant Sizzle Pants. Uh, how about <gasps> Sergeant Schlong? We'll call it. We get to this side and shit happens and we have to split up rendezvous point back in these woods you are, oh i've got a fucking radio for you hunter do it over here in the trees wait not in the road yeah that's what i'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Let's hold up, let him give the radio, and we'll go. 
You have battery? There's a battery in it. Uh, we we use 90... 99.7. What was it? 99.7. Yeah, I've seen it. in the house. I caught the last last fucking bit of chatter, didn't really say much, but I thought they were gonna keep going. What'd you hear? I uh, couldn't really make it out, it was just a bit of fucking chatter that that's what I mean, I got the last section of it, I was hoping they were gonna keep talking, but I missed it. Alright, let's fucking keep on moving before this light goes. Yeah, definitely. I just didn't want to listen to the radio in the fucking rain. Here comes the wet sack again. How's Clarence do that? With the, with the, how'd he do that, making it look so easy? That fucking, that's too cold. Smart here, we can get behind most of these rocks and it'll cover us. This is what I did yesterday. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, I didn't leave you a note. <laughs> we kind of didn't really have a uh, place to. 
tell you to go at the moment? Or are we just kind of in searching? There's a dude there. There's a dude there. Top of the tent. Top of the tent. Shit, that's a goat. Oh, yeah, We're I just... We're gonna radio on quickly, so... <laughs> silence. Yeah, Charlie Devon. I've cleared out five one. I'm ready for another load. I'm gonna work through the night, get some more tents out here, get some more lights, we'll be good to go. I'm gonna stay here to make sure no more infected show up. And keep an eye out for survivors as well. Radio break. No sign of survivors since our incident last night with local patrol. Over. That was definitely uh Yeah. He said that the in the South East they had made contact with survivors or something. Yeah, I'd stay down, he's still in that tower there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make he's lying down up. He's still there. The only other only option from here is here. Well, I mean, we could go down there a ways and cold dick it, I guess. All I'm saying is if you need me to, I can maybe throw a smoke into the town up there and then meet you guys back at base. We can try it. It's risky, man. We'll stay on 99.7. You hear anything? I'll, uh, I hear anything. I get chased. I'll let you guys know. Unfortunately, he's just going to sit there and pop shots. He's going to see us if we try anything. They say, uh, what are you going to do? Throw it? Let us know you've thrown it? Then what? He beats feet gets the fuck out of there. How about, I'm going to go throw it, you stay on his radio, if he sees it, he's going to radio in and he sees it, he's going to go check it out. I'm going to be on our radio channel, well, I'm going to stay on his as well, then I'll switch over to our radio channel and confirm that Russell, he you got your radio on you? Yeah, yeah, You'll I got it. You'll be on 99.7, I'll be on, mili sure I'll be on military, but uh, we go silence, uh, silence, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Oh, seriously, guys, you fucking rock. I mean, I'm literally sitting here wanting to pass out, wanting to get back home and just go to sleep, and you fuckers keep me up, and I love it. Oh, yeah, that's a good zoom of the grass. There we go. Hang that tower. Can't turn my radio on because I don't want it to echo other. That's the problem with that. I'll wait till. Possibly. Yeah, we're seeing quick regeneration of the infected over here. Coming out everywhere. Hey, this is Charlie. Seven. Has anyone done a full sweep of these coastlines? Oh, hold up, Charlie. Seven. I got it. Hey, report in if CDC is gassing here in Old Town. Or old feet where the fuck I am. <laughs> Hold on. I got a vehicle. I got a vehicle. Vehicle just drove by. Southbound vehicle. Don't break your legs. I'm moving to a there. Um, he's moving off. He's moving Good. off. He's going for that vehicle. Roger. All right, we gotta make it. We gotta make our move. We got. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta I'm gonna turn the radio on again for the military, so uh, we're just running songs now. Going that way for it. <laughs> Better off over here. Or 
Ich mir gar nicht, ich hab keinen They just found Jay's can. They know it's not CDC. Okay. Jay, you there? They found your can. Jay. Jay turned it off to read through silence. He say here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn mine back on. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll, I guess. Oh, I brought it the wrong goddamn way. Ah, there you are. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. They found your can, and uh, they knew it wasn't CDC. So. I was listening. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kept calling for you. I'm but like, the fuck, bad thing dude. Is, is they're gonna. I, I switched back to theirs. I heard you say okay, so I figured you knew I was out. Yeah, was yeah. Clear. I just wanted to make sure, though, because it's like, fuck! Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it worked, though, my man. We ain't going to be able to do this all that much, though. We're going to have to fucking really work on you know a couple of areas. Yeah. We have got to have a place to get. And with them, did you hear them on the radio? They are bringing more yeah, tents they're gonna be in. Patrolling. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and they're gonna be patrolling this soon, so. Fuck me. I God seen you, so I turned my radio off. I kind of want to keep listening. I know. <sighs> Son of a bitch, this is a nice place, too. I feel, could feel bad for Bruce, man. Yeah. Shitty situation, but. I'd rather be alive than... Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it just sucks when you, you know, kind of start the getting roots and... Don't know. Let me see if he's uh, on the rest of the station. Bruce, here, man. So many of the things there, they don't work for the shit. But it's so nice to be able to use them. See there? Bruce? Yeah, mate. Okay. Got Jay with me.
on the plus side, they also fucking uh, had a vehicle drive past heading south, so I think they fucking chased up to that. Yeah, no, I know, it went about fucking hit me. Well, not really hit me, what but kind it of about vehicle? Uh, uh, truck. Huh. An F-150. Oh, okay, damn. Oh, that might have been fucking Justin. And... No, either way. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I can save their ass. That's all I can save. Oh god, yeah. Might have to give him a full-on kiss on the mouth. No tongue, though. Well, little tongue. <laughs> oh, it's so weird not looking out there, you know, and seeing Clarence. on the radio you heard them right they're bringing more tents in and why would they need that many fucking tents how many people are they gonna have crawling Dude. all over this yeah exactly this is exactly what i fucking was thinking like how many more shit do they need how many fucking teams are there and there was like bravo team bravo team one bravo two so i don't know how many's in each fucking company either Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get something set up. Like we're talking, I would say let's hit Whoever's up the one... has got meat, slap it on the barbie if you want to. Um, sure. <laughs> oh, that meat. Uh, fuck, why would you want to... Yeah. <laughs> Well, I always heard it plumps when you cook them. So yeah, let's uh, uh, I'll work on that one tomorrow, and then something up north, you know, like Portland area. We're gonna yeah. have to just have a secondary one just in case. And that way we have two places covered. That way if we were to shit and get, we know they're, you know, to the west. We can't go that way. We go to Portland. If uh, we think they're covered up there, then we go west. Uh, either way, I'd feel a lot better having at least two uh, go areas. Yeah, I'm with you with that. The big, the biggest drum about the Portland areas, though, is we got to just fucking keep an eye on all the affected up there. It's absolutely... Oh yeah, we were up there. It's it's thick. It's not too bad once you get in there, you know, and clear them out a bit. It's just you really got to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I never even got out up there. Uh, Harry and I went up there. We fucking. Uh, yeah, we well, it seems like there's a couple of sections that's worse than the others. Like the entrance point to the uh, city. Seems like it's heavily populated with infected. And then, you know, if we were to go up in the northeast section of that where those uh, apartments are, it's not as bad. It, it seems like it's thinner up in there. Yeah, roger that. But again, it's one of those things we'll have to go up there, kind of eyeball it, you know, scout around a bit. Question, maybe? Uh, well, what about the swamp? I have no idea. That place was, you know, just nasty, so I never even in there. Yeah, I just I mean, think it'd probably be a bad idea in general. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I, being a local, I do know that there is, in fact, houses out there, but I also know that they. There yeah, is like a, some sort of military yeah, like outpost out there too. So I, yeah, I think you're talking but, north side of it. I have heard a couple people talk about that. Yeah, uh, but that outpost. I don't know if that outpost is being used. I don't know if they if they even are able to get to it. So with vehicles, I mean, 
I mean, there's, those things could probably go through just about anything, but yeah. I don't know. Some of that swaps a bit shitty. So. I heard somebody talk about Old Town. Is that uh, lakes? I haven't been up that way. Old Town, yeah, it's on the other side of the swamp, just barely on the other side. Okay. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the. I think that's the, the what you were talking about, just northeast of the uh, or northwest side of the swamp there. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. Close my eyes just a second. Yeah, I mean those are all options, but I haven't been up to, to the swamp since I was a, like a kid, 13. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's about ten years. It's been about a decade, so it's been a, it's been a while. Oh, geez. Oh, we're gonna have to definitely figure something out, though. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, getting too hot. It's getting too hot. Way too hot. I mean, but even if we went to the swamp, at least they'd have to come in by foot. There's no road. They could just drive down. Yeah, that's a bummer for us too though yeah, if we have to get going you know quickly i mean our vehicles yeah, yeah, are pretty yeah. much go bags and have to be able to you know kind of drive up in there yeah but right now i think uh we have a western section we're looking at and, and uh, another one up in portland yeah i heard you guys talking about that yeah that should cover you know most of the bases um in case they have one way blocked, we go the other. You know, it'll be a toss up where we end up. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, fuck. We scraped through with our teeth this time, but uh, well, that's not something we can do every time. If they're going to be starting to camp that place, if they're going to be watching that hard, I mean, we've been having more and more shots every fucking day. I mean, they did say something about searching the coast, so I don't know how much longer we want to stay around. Yeah. Well, and then driving back and forth, I mean, they're going to see a vehicle. You have to drive right by there. You know, that come from here, yeah. or, you know, there's just no way around that's it. Probably why they, no way around. That's probably why they took that. Because you can see the main road, and you can see just about anything you want from there. In terms of people coming and going. Right. That was my last red smoke, too, so, back. Yeah. Do most of the running, anyway. Uh, it looks I don't know yellow on this one. Fire or anything. So let's do. Are we staying here tonight, or what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, well, I did say he's gonna search the coast, so just be careful. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pass out myself here soon. Maybe in that, maybe, you know. Yeah. Uh, out in that building, because it's probably like, you know, probably gonna run over to my house. Yeah. Yeah. That. What the, how early are you guys waking up? Sun, sunrise? Sun, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I've been pretty much going pretty hard the last couple of days, so. 99.7. Yeah, this server's phenomenal for RP. Uh, big shout out to I mean, Chief, I mean, Mako, just, you know, um, just gonna... all the admins. They play so many characters, it's just phenomenal. Try and sneak by them, because it seems like they have few people, or fewer. So. Roger that, yeah. Well, tomorrow, or whenever people wake up and shit, our first thing is uh, we're going to be re-establishing like a bug out place that we, we've got a couple of places in mind we need to do. We're going to be grabbing up tools and shit like that. Done ASAP. I really bugged, I think. Something. I got mine set to 99.7.
which is not the military one. If it is, it's Bruce's. Need, uh, did anyone need a fire to sleep in? I don't know. Sorry, what was that? Did anyone need a fire to sleep in front of? No, no, I'm good. I'm gonna go camp out and not so there. Uh, what's Jay doing? Having a headache, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Honestly, thinking about passing out too. I just kind of pick it up in the morning. Grab shit. Yeah, Roger that. It's As I said, there's a. Uh, uh, you can wherever you want to pass out. Really, there's that. There's a couple of houses outside. You can pass out in here. Whatever. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm there like you know. Yeah, yeah, I was just I waiting. Jane, come around. back. So we'll let you both out. Skin. We'll let you all out. I'll go in that house over there with, uh, and then in the I think me and you, Bruce, are probably going to be traveling together tomorrow, so that's probably... Yeah. Yeah, that's going to end up happening. Roger that. You oh, gotta be, be safe out there, guys. Remember, 90, 99 Yeah, seven. stay safe. Yeah, switch your radio yes, back to yeah. that, my man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm doing it straight up. Righto, boys. See you in the AM. Have a good one. It did get damp. Be safe. Yeah, if you're up in the morning, we can do that. Just let me know. Oh. Are you crazy? Oh, lag or something going on. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> something went bad. Like what it did yesterday. Got a little high ping going on here. What happens? It's weird. Okay, now back to normal. I've just been a little hiccup between the server. Shit happens. God, I fucking love this server. I have not even been touching kinship at all. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're awesome, but over here. The, the admins just put so much effort in, you know. They're doing so many roles, you know. Just crazy. And just the little touches, you know, even just shooting around or something like that, making us wonder what's up. And section kind of... Where's my bunk buddy? <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Oh, Clarence, I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, whoops, spinning around when I'm checking you. Still streaming, so. This is gonna be it for tonight for me. I am fucking exhausted. I, I'm always up at like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. doing shit on here, and then I left over to my parents' house. Had a huge day, long freaking day. But I'm gonna actually get some sleep. 
So it was awesome RP tonight, as always. Fun, you know, fucking huge shout out to the admins. Like I said, Mako, Chief, you know, Red, all of them. Just phenomenal, phenomenal people. Uh, love being here. Love these guys. Uh, I can't wait to do more. But as usual, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I I had a few viewers. Hell yeah. But I will catch you guys next time. I'll be back on tomorrow. You have a good one and happy gaming later. Easy go.